I mean, why would you want to bring the evil version of you anywhere? You wouldn't. I mean, I'd high five mine and be like, let's go fuck <laughs> shit up. But I mean, this movie doesn't sound like that. Well, that you would be the evil version. You would see your good version. <laughs> oh, good call. You're right. I am already evil. See, so right. thank you, sweetie. Kill my good version. <laughs> you. <laughs> Take <his place. laughs> You dick. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a second. If I'm evil, Phil, does that mean the good Phil doesn't have a beard? Probably not, no. <laughs> what a All loser. Clean cut. <laughs> clean shaven dude. We probably works out too. Fuck him. All right. <laughs> Happy 2019. Welcome back to the April Geeks. <laughs> we're so was, depressed we're about so 2019. It was so sad. <laughs> I'm so sucked. excited for this year. My name's Phil, and I'm one of your many hosts. No, you, see that, you said it wrong. Your name's Eeyore. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> and this is Sweeney. Got I'll be a little more upbeat. I'm Andy. And this is Tim. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a rain cloud over my head because tonight's episode is about what we hope for in 2019 and what I want will never come. Which is? Impeachment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, right, fair, fair. fair. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Thanks again for tuning in the Hateful Geeks. 2019. <laughs> We're live. In charge. Almost done. Almost one month out the way. Real quick. So... This is the episode where we talk about all the shit we're really excited about for this year that makes this year, you know, worth actually getting out of bed and going out in public and bathing and shaving and all the other stuff we really don't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, geez. Well, that one, was a nice little what, intro. <laughs> what do you want me to do, man? It's, I, I mean, honestly, I mean, 2019, 2018 was a huge kick in the wiener. It was. <laughs> 2019's I'm, I'm really not expecting much more than another kick in the wiener yeah I didn't but, go out on a good note either <laughs> exactly I mean does so that mean we'll you? see but but there are a couple bright lights at the end of the tunnel um one of which just came out glass yes which I, I was re- which I was really excited to see um no spoilers but the ending was a huge curveball good job Shyamalan what a tweet <laughs> right what, tweet? what did you expect it's Shyamalan or M. Night or M, Sh- 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 Ding Dong. That guy. But this was this was more like having the rug pulled out from under me as opposed to like, oh, I was so shocked that happened. It was like, oh, why did you do that, you dick? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. But yeah, we we've all, we're already hitting the ground running with 2019. There's been some big releases, like maybe two <laughs> so far this month. <laughs> we're but all- uh, we're, your four favorite geeks are here to bring uh, the shit that we're really excited about and we think you should be excited about too this year. And so uh, we're going to let Andy kick it off. Andy, go. <laughs> It's too much pressure. Stop. Too late. Go. <laughs> Quit staring. Too late. You, fire. Too late. Go. <laughs> Next. You've got the whole big movie list. We do. I have a breakdown of the movies that we will be excited about, and I may throw in some that we are not so excited about. What and a twist. We'll, ju- we'll just do a quick rundown, but this is for everything that is scheduled to release this year. That does not guarantee they will release this year. Looking at you, New Mutants and Dark Phoenix. <laughs> I heard I heard that New Mutants might be going straight to fucking Hulu. Yeah. I, I would that. not be I heard shocked. That too. It does have a release date, but we will see. On Hulu. Because reshoot, <laughs> reshoots have made that movie even more stinky, apparently. Oh, like, it's say. not scary enough. Now we've gone from not scary to just plain shitty. Thanks. Well, if you didn't watch your teenage horror X Men (laughs) bullshit, you're not getting it now. (laughs) So, you already mentioned the first one, Glass, January. It's out, it's there. Um, I never saw Split, and it's been a very long time since I've seen Unbreakable. Do I need to see those? Yes. yes. Well, you have to see Split, and (laughs) yes, you have to see Unbreakable again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, You want it fresh in your mind. Right. Yeah. You don't have to see. Unbreakable to understand Split, but I think you would. I I haven't seen Glass yet, but I would imagine you have to watch at least both to understand. Because yeah, I see Bruce Willis's characters back in. Yes. Well, I think you just well, need so to understand Samuel Jackson. Yeah. yeah, and you just need to understand who you know the Beast is, right? You can't just like go in thinking oh, like. Oh, he actually has seen it. We we spoil it for our listeners. We don't spoil <laughs> for each other. You leave I know them the alone. Beast is uh, no because they show McAvoy. They've said that in the trailer. Yeah. 
I mean, but the, okay. I mean, I got the my fact, balls. No, I no, the no. McAvoy the fact is that Professor already, X. Okay. <laughs> the fact that you already know that Split's part of the Unbreakable Universe is, in fact, a spoiler. Because when Split first came out, nobody, nobody knew, that, knew yeah. that it was part. Like it, it was a huge reveal at the end of the movie when you see right. like Dunn in the fucking. And somebody's like uh, talking about who's that crazy guy who blew up a hotel and like a bunch of shit the other like, a few years ago. And he's like, his name was Mr. Glass. And I'm like, holy shit, there's David Dunn. Yeah. It, it, like it's one of those things where it's like it kind of pans across. I think he's at a diner, I want to yeah. say. And it pans across these people talking, and then it just looks up and it's Bruce Willis. So you're like, oh. No. Oh. I mean, the concept of like the multiple personalities and him having like superhuman powers, it, it sort of alludes to unbreakable, but there's no outright like mention of it. Or but until you see him in the right in the fucking diner, and then you're like, holy shit! And that's when everyone's like, by the way, it's a trilogy. <laughs> yeah. But by the way, this is a secret. This is a secret sequel to Unbreakable. <laughs> see you next and this, year. And here's the not so secret sequel, Glass, which obviously is a reference to Samuel L. Jackson's Mr. Glass, Elijah Price. I remember a lot of stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I, I haven't seen Unbreakable since it came out. So right, Unbreakable yeah, 15 years. Me. Yeah. I, after Avatar, or excuse me, it was just called The Last, the Last Airbender. Airbender. <laughs> after after Shyamalan pulled that shit, there was no redeeming him in my eyes. I was very angry. I love Avatar: The Last Airbender. I was laying in the water. I was like, whatever, dude. Do your th- you do you, Shyamalan. <laughs> and then he also did like The Village, and I was like, stinker. Saw that shit coming. Why does nobody talk old English? Because it's modern times. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like n- none of his shit like after Sixth Sense was like or sorry after Unbreakable was like worth a damn to me I was like it- he's there he keeps trying to like do the same formula right then he did Split and I was like oh fucker still got his chops <laughs> <laughs> he had to go back to his roots but and I- also McAvoy can act the shit out of anything yeah uh, yeah he's great in Split but yeah but Split was amazing I'm sure uh, Glass unfortunately is not getting great reviews I enjoyed it for what it was uh, some people probably are going to be mad about it. It depends <laughs> on how like in love with the unbreakable universe you are. But anyway, uh, yeah, glass was the big, like the big, like out the gate in January. What's next on your list? All right. So we'll go ahead and just jump right into February. <laughs> uh, I'm going to skip right past uh, what men want, unless you guys want to wax that. Oh yeah. No, no. What's that about Andy? What's, what's, yeah. what's, what's one what's, men want? What do, what do men, men want? want? Men want. <laughs> what do you want, Andrew? This gender swapped take on the Mel Gibson comedy, what women want. <laughs> By and comedy, I'm done I mean, reading. Guy comedy. <laughs> we put air quotes yes. over it. I'm done I, reading. I, I, Next. I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell you how the script goes from minute one to minute last. It's boobies, 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 vagina. The end. <laughs> what you men did want? it. Food. <laughs> food. I was gonna say food. Food. <laughs> Moist towel. Last sleep. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, February will also give us uh, the Lego Movie Two, the second part, which is should yeah. be good. I it mean, will be good. I yeah, like the first, first one, one was great. All right, you're gonna have to refresh my memory because I like the Lego Batman movie, but I don't really remember a lot about the actual Lego movie. I know Batman's in it. Lego but he's was also like the a uh, character that Chris Pratt portrayed, which is just generic Lego guy. And he finds out he's like the chosen one and of what <laughs> to save the Lego universe. Apparently there's a Lego universe at the very end. It is a kid playing with his dad's Lego set that he's been building forever in his basement. So his kid, his son is portraying. The wasn't so, there like so a, it's the kid's imagination. Wasn't there like a bad part where like they were gluing them together permanently? Yeah, it was yeah. the the villain would like super glue everything in place. Yeah. That's a dick move. <laughs> and then and then it is it is kind of a funny scene because the dad is Will Ferrell. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Everything so maybe is I should awesome. Go back and, yeah. Oh yeah. Everything is cool when you're part, part of, of a team. team. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I remember that part. All right. Maybe I should go back and rewatch the Lego movie. <laughs> yes. Do Do you, Do you think that the sequel is going to live up to the the first one? I'll give it a chance. I, I didn't set a very high bar for the first one. So yeah. I'm sure. Right. <laughs> this one has like. I mean, Ill- it was fun, but I'm not out there like collecting Lego the movie memorabilia or anything. Yeah. Like that. Right. I, I I didn't exactly go watch Lego Ninjago. Or right. <laughs> And I mean, I only watched Lego Batman because it had the word Batman in it. Batman. Like, <laughs> Batman. Batman. <laughs> and actually, Lego Batman was funny as hell. I, was. The, the voice cast was amazing. Channing Tatum as Superman was great. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it, it was really well done. So in my eyes, Lego the movie, Lego movie 2 has to be Lego Batman, not Lego movie. True. You can't be Lego Batman. Why'd you bother? 
This one has aliens. Okay, move along. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next. Uh, we were discussing this before we hit the old record button, but Alita Battle Angel. Did I hit the also February 14th. So you, okay. could, uh, Ma- you could take a date to see live action anime. Valentine's. Yeah, my wife said no already. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my inner weeb really wants to see this. Like, I, I really like, I love the original Battle Angel Alita. It's a very, first off, it's from the 80s and it's super dark and, and you know, it's, it's cyberpunk. It's fucking cool. It's robots and cyborgs and vi- ultra violence and really cool, like, action scenes. So this could be a fun flick to go see. And then, and I'm not even like upset about the gigantic cow eyes they put on Alita. <laughs> I mean, no, with, looks, with all well, the, she's a robot. With all yeah. the ridiculous yeah she's a robot exactly and with all the ridiculous backlash from from live action anime movies being made i'm looking at you ghost of the shell (laughs) (laughs) there's a lot of people out there get pissed off about whitewashing so the best way to do that is to just if your character isn't actually human and is a robot then make them look fairly inhuman right especially in the eyes area where since we're talking about like what is considered an asian character you have removed race from the equation by making them like, look, it's a robot and she has saucers for eyes. The end. <laughs> the end. Like, done. So nobody can get mad about this. Just go see the fucking movie with some cool CG robots dicing each other to pieces. The CG yeah. looks really good in the trailer. Whereas most of the time we're like, ah, that CG looked pretty shit. Hopefully they clean it up before release. This one already looks pretty spot on. Well, they, they pushed the movie back twice. So I hope that it <laughs> hope is. So. <laughs> Just to make the trailer actually. Because well, even think, the first trailer looked cause, good. Because this was originally supposed to come out last August, and then it was like around Christmas, and then it got pushed back to. Valentine's it is directed Day. by uh, Robert Rodriguez, which See? is awesome. And yeah. it has one of my favorite actors, Christoph Waltz. Yes. Or did yeah. I say that correctly? Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. Christoph <laughs> sure. Waltz. You didn't pull a Sweeney. You're fine. You're good. He's Michelle German. Rodriguez. I did not know she was in that movie. Jennifer Conley. Uh, I I love Jennifer, Jennifer Connelly. Con- Requiem, Con- yes. Double dildo scene. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, sorry, and, sorry, yes. sorry. And, I meant and, labyrinth. Yeah, and that's labyrinth. what and, and that's what was brought up. Soften that a little bit. Yeah. Labyrinth. Yeah, just, <laughs> my bad. I really liked labyrinth. What a great movie. Transition to David Bowie. Go. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Or you could also take a date to see Happy Death Day to You. I don't even. I've never. I don't no, even know I, what that is. Yeah. So I, I, what I gather from the this trailer and the movie before it is this girl like has a death day and she has to die, but she doesn't. And if she doesn't die, it goes after somebody else. It's really weird. So she just <laughs> so dies over and over and so, over. Yeah. Again. So she just, just dies an, over and over. So again. it's just an even shittier Final Destination. No, because like it wasn't like she avoided it and then like it comes for her later. Like if oh, she that's doesn't, what it, that's she does I, die and then she wakes up. Yeah. And repeats. Oh, the same. it's oh, Groundhog okay. Day. Right. So, but you just <laughs> die. Yeah, at the yeah, end. Right. She has yeah. to die each time. Oh, okay. And if she doesn't die, it kills somebody else and that doesn't that's come what, back. That's what I was like. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. No, it's, it's really weird. And, the, and the, the killer wears a baby face mask. Like the singer. That's going to be a hard <laughs> no. No, it's like a literal baby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who's who's the who's the actor? I mean, is there anybody in it that's actually like worth a shit? No, like, do I care? No, uh, I don't recognize a single name. Jessica and Ralph Pass, Israel Broussard. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Move along. I, I I could listen to you read just names. Read names. Put <laughs> oh, these to Andy, shit. Andy, he's a grown ass man who pronounces shit like a three year old. That's why we. <laughs> that is why we like him. Love it. Word you couldn't pronounce my last name and for like till like four years after we like were friends. It was ridiculous. What did you? What did you, what did you say it? I don't. I, he can't even say it now. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, next on your list? Because we're not watching that shit. No, February. That shit. Another How to Train Your Dragon. I'm excited about this. I love the How to Train Your Dragon universe. I love Toothless. Toothless is he's a cat. He's a big kitty cat. He is. I love train, How to Train Your Dragon 1 is fun. Great voice cast, good animation, uh, a heartwarming story. And dragons, everyone loves dragons. And 2 was great. <laughs> two, had a, oh. 2 had a great cast too. And you had the giant dragons and it, like, it escalated the circumstance with like the dragons and humans you know, coexisting. And like mm-hmm. some people, like we use them as fucking weapons of mass destruction. Give us your dragons. Like, <laughs> the, and this one, like Toothless is going to get some booty, it yeah. looks like, from the trailer. So I'm White excited. Toothless. He gets a girlfriend. I, he gets, I haven't seen either one, so I'm shrugging my shoulders. <laughs> yep. I'm excited. I, I, like, I, I, I like the series so far. And it's like you said, it's really fun. It's entertaining. It's not like 
I don't know. It's like a, it's like to me, I don't know, like Moana. Moana was very good, you know, kind of. I like right. Moana. So, grown ass man, and I'll yeah, watch that multiple yeah, I times. Love Moana. So it's, for me, it's like that. It's like a good animation film that I'll still watch. It wasn't I can't like, hate on it because it's animation. I'm with Sweeney on this. If it's a good, it's just, it stands on its own legs. Right. How to Train Your Dragon. And they've, just, they've said, this is the end. This is the end of the trilogy. They're not going to like milk this forever, even though they did a TV show or some shit. But <laughs> right. this is, this is, there, there's a beginning, there was a middle, and this is the end. There, right. It's going to come full circle, which I appreciate about a good narrative. So I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm very confident. Right. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not trying to say like I'm, I'm on, like on a high horse or anything. It's just I haven't seen the first two. So the third one coming out just doesn't have any emotional resonance for me. So it's like, Oof. yeah. Did you, is there anything that's been keeping you from watching the How to Train Your Dragon movies? No, it's just, yeah, I don't really go out of my way to watch it or I wouldn't go out of my way to watch it right now, I guess. You know, you think you should, I think you should take the time, Tim. <laughs> if, I, if they're streaming anywhere, maybe. Sure. It's about, it's a, it's a heartwarming story about a boy and his dad and his dragon. And his friends, and his other dad, and then his mom, <laughs> and then some more dragons, and then some more dragons, and then a girlfriend, and then a Ooh. girlfriend with more dragons, and then a guy who likes to use dragons to beat shit up. Okay, cool. Anyway, right, yeah. anyway <laughs> these dragons are taking us right into March. These dragons are dragon, and uh, March has this little uh, this movie called Captain Marvel. Never heard of it. What's that? I think uh, I think we might go see that one. Maybe. Is he cool? <laughs> <laughs> You got a joint. It'd be a lot Jeez. cooler if you did. You did. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Cat, we've talked about Captain Marvel. I mean, Disney and Marvel Studios has been banging it out of the park. It'll be good. This will be cool. It, it'll be great. I mean, with, with the last bad Marvel movie was Thor Ragnarok, so they've, <laughs> they've been on point since then. Yeah, and and we actually got our first like real trailer. Like, when was that? Last week. We've had several re- yeah, this was like real trailer. trailer. Three. Yeah, but this, I don't yeah. know. This one just felt more. The I, second trailer it? was probably the one where they found when they showed her like full, like she goes right. Super Saiyan, like yeah. up in space and starts glowing and has a Did mohawk. Andy and, just make a Dragon Ball <laughs> reference? Like throwing. Hell has bolts. frozen over. <laughs> you don't get to do that, bitch. You've never seen an episode I've never of Dragon seen a Ball single scene. one. <laughs> and yet you make references <laughs> to Ever. it, you fucking phony. <laughs> you phony. <laughs> Phony. Phony. <laughs> You're a poser. You're so a poser. She shows yeah. her like her. Tim's listened to the audio version of Ready Player One. You You're poser. a poser. poser. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Will Wheaton. <laughs> so that that comes out March 8th. And then w- the next one is not until March 22nd. I guess nobody wanted to try to directly follow up. <laughs> no. They're like, oh, let's hold off a no. little bit. <laughs> but like starting March 26th is just uppercutting yeah. the, the taint of your wallet. So March 22nd is us. Jordan Peele. Yeah, this I, looks... I'm very excited. Follow-up to Get Out. Yeah, this looks great. So uh, I don't know. Is it actual a sequel to Get no, Out? No, no, no. Like his follow-up. Yeah. Like his... Oh. So after. like right... I can talk. <laughs> Written and directed by him. Yeah, yeah, so and if you've seen the trailer, it's this about this family that I think they go to a beach. <clears throat> And the little daughter like runs off and sees like somebody and like you hear her talking to her and it turns around and it's like a dark evil version of her. And then like they follow them home. And so they like they have like their family and like the dark version of their family. It's really fucking weird and creepy. And like one of the the, the, the little boy is like normal boy, and then the other one, his face is like mauled and like he wears like a mask. Like, oh, it's it looks weird. And I think it's gonna be really good. <laughs> is it a horror? <laughs> it sounds it, like a horror it film. Is. It's it kind of like a yeah. horror film. Yep. I mean, why would you want to bring the evil version of you anywhere? You wouldn't. I mean, I'd high five mine and be like, let's go fuck <laughs> shit up. But I mean, this movie doesn't sound like that. Well, that you would be the evil version. You would see your good version. <laughs> oh, good call. You're right. I am already evil. See, so right. thank you, sweet. Kill my good version. <laughs> you. <laughs> <Take place. laughs> you dick. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a second. If I'm evil, Phil, does that mean the good Phil doesn't have a beard? Probably not, no. <laughs> what a All loser. Clean cut. <laughs> clean shaven dude. He probably works out too. Fuck him. All right. <laughs> Screw that guy. Anyway, next. next. All right. So I'm going to go down a few here. Just as uh, Tim said, we get quite the rundown of films going into the spring. So starting March 29th, we get Dumbo, followed by Into April Shazam, yeah. Pet Cemetery, <laughs> Hellboy. Hell yeah. And then that kind of slows down. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of You're- course... Right into Avengers. I was, like, you, I was like, you're forgetting you're about like, Well, they were throwing a few, like April 19th, we get the curse of La La Lora. <laughs> what? La La Lora. God, 
God damn it. I need to, I need to like, can we just, we and need to under save the all Silver this Lake. And I will tell you, it is starring Andrew Garfield, so skip. <laughs> right. And Topher Grace. Holy fuck, double skip. <laughs> That's a like failed the worst. Venom and a failed Spider-Man. That is a, it literally <laughs> yeah. is a failed Jesus. Venom. <laughs> oh, that's the worst of both of All right, well, let's think. reverse here. All right, back so up. let's go back. So we got back Dumbo up. kicking this off. Dumbo, yes. Tim uh, Burton. Dumbo. I'm all about right. it. Yep. Uh, all right, are you? I, that, that doesn't surprise me. You're, 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 let me guess your favorite characters are the crows. No. Yeah, they are, sweetie. I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> now, what if they're doing Dumbo, <laughs> uh, you know what I'm trying to say. If they're doing Dumbo, this is not going to be your daddy's Dumbo. Dumbo. This is going to be very different, very changed. Maybe they'll keep a couple songs. They'll add like three or four new ones. But you're you're slowing down there, sir. You're slowing down a little bit. Can you still. hear me now? Yeah. There you Get are. Back. But there for a while, it was like, Can you hear me now? This is not your daddy. This is not your daddy's Dumbo. <laughs> and gonna be a lot of- <laughs> did it again at the exact same time. <laughs> no, not, 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 not your daddy's Dumbo. Did it do it again? It's no, not, no, it's not that better that time. <laughs> Goddamn internet! It's not. God damn look, this is not. This is going to be a very different experience. Like, is it was good. Mm-hmm. All right, this is going to be a very different experience than the animated Dumbo you grew up with. One. Hopefully oh, yeah. it'll be oh, right. semi modernized, not to offend everyone. Right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I agree. And they've already said it's not going to be like just like Lion King. It's not going to be a screen for screen, you know, remake of the original. So they're not going to do exactly the same things. I don't know. From that trailer of Lion King, I kind of feel like it was almost a screen for screen. <laughs> yeah, copy. but they said like they're not going to do. You know, that's what they said. So they, it could be close, whatever. But I don't think Dumbo is going to, I think it's going to be the same thing. It's going to not going to be like exactly like you said, the exact replica of the animated, which we know has some very insensitive scenes. Let's just say the damn crows are fucking yeah. racist. Like, yeah. <laughs> some ra- there's some racist. I've crows. seen a dragon fly. I've seen a horse fly. I ain't never seen no elephant fly. That's fucking racist. Right. It was <laughs> bad. Very, very bad. But. Disney did that a lot. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> and like I said, let's talk about is, Song uh, of the South. For yeah. Right here. Yeah. No, this Dumbo is being directed by Tim Burton and it is starring Colin Farrell, Eva Green, Michael Keaton, and Danny DeVito. So we're getting our Batman and Penguin back. We're getting our Mini Batman Helena, Trans reunion. Are you sure Helena Bonham Carter is going to play the Don, Dumbo's mom? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, because they're divorced now. <laughs> That uh, doesn't mean shit. He's still going to put her in every fucking movie because it's his equation. I don't think. I don't think she's been in any of his movies since they divorced. Mm, that's what happens when you, when you get, <laughs> cheat on your bread and butter, Helena. <laughs> anyway, you get cut out. You don't bite the hand that f- pays you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited for Dumbo. I mean, it's a classic for me. At least uh, when I was a kid, I grew up on it. You know, I saw it when I was a kid. So um, I'm excited for a live adaptation. I want to see how it looks and how it turns out. And the trailers, the the CGI looks good. I mean, the CGI looks good, but the that CGI or not the CGI, the trailer just like oh, makes you want to cry already. Yeah, sad clown Dumbo, sad clown Dumbo, along with the the song that his mom sings to him. Baby, yeah. mine, okay. don't you cry? Yeah. <laughs> I sing that shit to my daughter. Don't make fun of me. Anyway, <laughs> All I right. feel like this is this is where Disney is like crossing the line. Like we had live action Beauty and the Beast. It was good. Mm-hmm. We had like live action Cinderella. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. No, uh, they've done a couple of these like live action remakes. Some of them are all right, but now they're getting into like all animal cast territory for they a lot did of the their movies. Jungle Book, right? They did. Yeah, yeah I guess Bill Murray is. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, there's it, been like 40 remakes of that though in right. CG form. It's just it's one of those things where it's just they can't turn down the money because. Jungle Book made close to a billion dollars. Beauty and the Beast made over a billion dollars. It's just, it's one of those things like that's the new thing. Right. And, and like they can't, why would you say no to that? Right. And, and as you know, people are going to take their kids to see these movies because now it's that generation gap. Where right. Exactly. These par- parents that saw these movies wanted to have their kids to have the same experiences. Right. They've got this kick ass new invention. It's called a fucking Blu ray player. I know. But <laughs> you put your kid down in front of your fucking 60 inch flat screen. And you say, hey, you want to see what was good? Watch this. Right. You don't need to go see. I don't need to spend $40 of the movies so that you can go watch something I already own. Right. 
All right, man, we've had this, this talk is, before. You got you, you have to have, there needs to be new original content coming out, right? Um, but that's that's simply why Disney's doing <laughs> it. It's not for this year, then, right? It's not this year. <laughs> Disney knows they can make money off of oh, it. Oh, just wait, we're not even there yet. I know we're the next, the next one. <laughs> They know that audiences aren't going to say no to it right now. Right, they won't. Are, I'm saying no to it. I'm saying no. I to believe him. there are at least Me. two more live action Disney movies on the list for just this year. This year. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fuck yes. my life. Next, Shazam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God damn it, that was loud in my ear. Yeah, that was uh, really loud. Uh, we we we've talked about Shazam multiple times well, yeah. in multiple episodes. We are hyped as fuck for this movie. The new Andy trailer the that costume. came out. I'm. A- I actually got a little excited for just that scene alone of the kid Billy jumping just, off the building, arms back, legs back, head to the sky, scream Shazam, lightning bolt to the chest, poof, gone. I didn't see it. It's <laughs> so good. I didn't see it. <laughs> after a certain well, period spoilers. of time, yeah. After a certain period of time, I stay away from trailers. Yeah. For that instance. <laughs> Thanks, Spoiler, Andy. they show him turning into Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> like you didn't know that yeah. was happening. Right. <laughs> Still, I just want to give him shit. Wait, 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 wait. Billy Batson is Shazam? <laughs> right. What? <laughs> what? Just, you fucking bastard. Just let, just let me give Andy some shit, all right? I, I, actually, I actually like the scene where he walks into the store and he says, give me your finest beer, please. <laughs> finest beer. <laughs> finest beer. Pet Cemetery. Uh, all right. Uh, I have, I, I've got to tell you right now, a remake of a Stephen King movie can go one of two ways. It can go it and like break fucking records, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or it can go a dark tower <laughs> and, not, right, and literally not punch do, me it, in the dick. <laughs> I, I think it's going to be one of those things where it's going to be probably a pretty good, faithful adaptation, but it's just going to get lost in the mix of April. I, like so I, many, I agree so with him. It's, it's it's scattered. It's like clustered by all this amazing shit. It's just gonna get like whoop. Oh, that, that's gonna be an afterthought, yeah. right? Right. I agree. And it's a horror movie in the middle of like kid friendly movies, right? So it's like, right. Who, if it, what are you gonna go see? If it is good, it'll get that buzz when it hits Netflix and it hits the the voodoo and right. Because I agree with you. Nobody's. I don't see people flocking to the theater for it. But if it's good, it'll become one of those like, oh, have you seen this? You gotta right. stream it. I mean, yeah, so, like I think if it came come if it came out in September, October, it wouldn't be. Yeah, but why not October? There's because there's another Stephen King there movie is. that we'll talk we about coming, coming out that. in September. <laughs> shh, 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 don't jump through time, gentlemen. <laughs> good, good, good tease, guys. Good tease. Good tease. I love the first we'll back after this Terry. Week. It's amazing. The book is fantastic. It's one of the best things Stephen King has done. Mm-hmm. This. This could be great. And I the, my problem is, is I'm married to somebody who hates horror films. Ugh. I'm not going to take my daughter to see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to go to the it. movies alone. That's loser shit. <laughs> so <laughs> so I, I might not end up getting to see this in theaters. I might have to wait until like a home release. Right. I'll be your date. We can go together. No, you won't. And I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Shut down. Man, I, even he rejected me. <laughs> oh, 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 shit, sweetie. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, y'all can't see me, but I'm caressing his shoulder now. <laughs> and I'm erect. Oh. And next. And ruin next. <laughs> Hellboy. <laughs> <laughs> why did you why did you say that like you're calling a dog Hellboy come, Hellboy. Hellboy. <laughs> come read this paper about Hellboy <laughs> are you a newsie you can read some of the funnies <laughs> and, and now you're a newsie from 1932 what? yeah like why are you like an old timey radio host like, <laughs> mommy you want to watch me some Hellboy, Hellboy. Here? got that David Harbour from uh, Stranger Things <laughs> Like I said, I like Ron Perlman's Hellboy. I, I'm very, uh, I love this series. I don't think this is going to be. I'm I think excited this is a, for this. I thought the creatures I, looked fucking awesome in the trailer. I think it's going to be a huge waste of everybody's fucking time. So I, 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 I had the same concern as Phil because I think they're going to try to do too much with it. No one's going to care. But I also like the trailer. Like I like the way the monsters look. I like the setting. I like the way Hellboy looks. I, you know, I think they may ruin it with some of the dialogue but i think visually pleasing sure um so we'll see i want to see it it did they build it as Mm -hmm. a true horror take Mm -hmm. and the trailer gave off a little too much of the humor if that's the only humor that i'm gonna get cool give me give me a dark hellboy i want a comic book dark horse dark they show the samaritan in the trailer i don't remember yeah 
It's his gun. Yes, mm-hmm. they showed yeah. it. Yeah, he yeah, goes. Uh, it says some some dads give their kid a toy, a glove, or something like that. And yeah. My dad gave me this, and he pulls and out he the gun. Shows it. All right, the Samaritan is one of the coolest things about Hellboy. But if it, as long as that looks beast, I don't know. And you you like the look of the monsters? They look like a bunch of fucking flying bats to me. Like, I don't. <laughs> we saw one. That, that was one of the monsters, and it was in a wrestling ring too. Yeah, it was. It's like man bat. <laughs> Shrug. <laughs> I, I like I, I will still go see it because I am a fucking I'm a sap. I'll, I'll throw money at it. It is, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. But I'm not holding I'm not holding my breath. For it's a date. <laughs> it's a date. <laughs> all right. Not not with you. No. And then the reason we all are getting out of bed this year, Avengers Endgame. Yeah. I'm gonna sleep through this one. <laughs> no, I'm, just uh, I'm just kidding. I'm super I mean, excited about Endgame. As long as tits. as long as Papa Trump doesn't like hit the nuclear bomb before oh, Jesus. April 26th. <laughs> oh, if he if he ruins this. For me, I will. Fucking, I don't know what. I'll, so it says in this article, directed by Joe Russo, Anthony Russo, starring everybody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it literally has everybody. Everybody. Sounds about it. Sounds about I, right. This is going to be amazing. But my, but really, what I, my biggest concern about this movie isn't how good it's going to be because I know it's going to be great. My concern is like, where do they go right. from here? Is this the, are we about to see like the end of the, we're not though, because we still got like Spider Man Far From Home. Yeah, and- this is the end of Phase Three. Phase Four will begin, and apparently okay. Spider Man is the Captain America, Iron Man. He is the linchpin for Phase Four. So we're basically saying like, if it, end of Phase Three is the end of the old guard Avengers. Exactly. Right. Phase Four is the beginning of rebuilding a new. Avengers, a team. new Marvel universe, right? Well, and then they also like, have rights to the other stuff by then too. Yeah. So, so you're going to bring in the Fantastic Four, the X Men. I think. I think like. I mean, the only theory I'll say is like I think that Captain Marvel is going to be more the Avengers linchpin, while Spider Man's like the, the pop culture link, linchpin. Yeah, that's what, like he's going to be Spider Man. The, the reason why people are going to go to these movies right. in Phase Four, it'll, Spidey will be your and we and we got girl. the trailer. Um, when was that? During the national championship game? Yes. Um, and it's dark and gloomy, as it should be. So. I thought it was pretty funny and fun. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was that yeah. dark and gloomy. Oh, I did not get it like a dark Tony at Stark all. I got in space super... by himself, talking to Pepper. Oh, he's talking oh, about, about the end game. Uh, I, yeah. thought talking talking about, oh, I thought you were talking about Far From Home. No! Oh. Well, no, <laughs> no Far yeah, From it, Home it, was the championship game. Was, we know no. that end game is going to be a huge, just like wrist slitty sad fest. Yeah. Of people that we don't want to die dying for like old like really super great causes. Right. Yeah. And like I, I I'm not gonna see another I'm not gonna watch another trailer that's released after the first one, but I, I had read somewhere where like anything they plan on showing trailer wise is gonna be like the first twenty five minutes of the movie. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I can imagine. I mean I'm sure the, the Tony up? scene we've seen will probably be the opening of the film. Oh, oh yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think we, I think it's what we just saw was when Tony was in the spaceship, like I think recording yeah. I guess, the opening scene. Yeah. It's gonna open with that, yeah. Um and everyone has obviously pointed out the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer that came out is very absent of Tony Stark. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Let, let, yeah. Fuck, fuck this. <laughs> all right. What's next? After all right. Endgame? So let's roll on into May. My birthday month. <laughs> Pokemon. All right. Detective Pikachu. Comes out on my birthday. <laughs> May 10th. Happy birthday. Great film. I'm oh, excited. Yeah. Yes, I'm excited for it. I never yeah. thought I ever wanted this movie in my life, and after I saw the trailer, I was like, "I." Have Says to the see dude this. who played Pokemon more. Go, like <laughs> fucking religion. If I said, if you came to me ten years ago and you're like, Detective Pokemon, voiced by Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds, I'd be like, "No, nobody wants to see that." And then you see the trailer, and you're like, "All right, I need to see." That. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I, need I, to see this. I do want to see that movie. I've never been a big Pokemon guy. Well, so. well ten years ago, Ryan Reynolds was doing Green Lantern. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going for like <laughs> Pokemon. Okay, don't get me wrong. I am I am an old school red and blue Pokemon Game Boy player. Like I've been around since Gen One, and I still think that Charizard is the best Pokemon. Fuck anyone who says otherwise. But <laughs> but this, I'm not going for Pokemon. I'm going for Ryan Reynolds right, yes. voicing Pikachu because that is going to piss somebody. <laughs> Yeah, when he's and like, I want to be there when it happens. When he's talking and, and like, he's like, can you understand him? He's like, Pika, Pika. And they're like, yeah, Pika, Pika. And then it's like, they can't understand me, kid. I'm like, right, it's yeah. going to be perfect. <laughs> yeah. What about, uh, yeah, and then they're interrogating Mr. Mime. Yes. It looked creepy as fuck, but <laughs> totally accurate. Pikachu farts. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm totally going to electrocute you with my tail. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> this movie has potential to be really funny. Not just for like, and, and kids will enjoy it too because they're still obsessed with whatever version of Pokemon it was. It, po- I don't even know anymore. It's the one for the Diamond Switch. Or something. I don't know what it is. Isn't there something, like, isn't there something like Sun I, and Moon? It, uh, yeah, something it's like, like that. No, it's past that even at this point. It's like, I love you. Eevee and I love you, <laughs> Pikachu. I don't know. You Let's take like your an buttholes. Eevee or another one. Start. I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Oh, yeah. All right. right. I, I I used to like Pokemon. I am a grown man now. I can't. But now I will go see this for Ryan Reynolds. Yes. The end. The end. So then a week later, somebody kicks in the door and shoots Pikachu in the head, and his name is John Wick. <laughs> John Wick Three. <laughs> Parabellum. I love, Parabellum. I love both. John yeah. Wick. Oh, I, they're sorry, John Wick. so good. These are great. Yeah. It's basically all the best parts about the Matrix with none of the shitty Wachowski philosophy <laughs> right. in the background. And and this one's I think this one might even be the best one. Maybe. I don't know yet. I, mean, I don't know if they I don't I know mean, if they kill a dog to make him mad. So like <laughs> Well no, no, because nah, he's on the run. The first one is about them no. killing his yeah, dog. And yeah, the him second off. one he's on the run at the end. Yeah, yeah, the second one is them saying you shouldn't have done that. And he's like, It was my dog. I don't even know him but my dog. Right. And the third one's gonna be like Oh man, John Wick is just too much of a fucking liability. Hey, everybody, literally well, everybody. Yeah, because yeah, he, he killed people on the hotel property, which you're not allowed to do. So right. they gave him a 30 minute head start, and now everybody's going after him. Yeah, it is a, yeah, there's a hit out. This is like a, a what is a, a not bounty. a wanted post, a bounty. Thank you. A yeah, there's a price, yeah, there's a contract. Thank you. A contract on John Wick's head, and everybody's trying to cash in mm-hmm. together. And now, my question is, is if 900 people kill you, and it's like, how, how how do you split that? <laughs> <laughs> All I have to say is he kills somebody with a book. So I mean that's not entirely impossible. You could totally kill someone with a book. <laughs> you tell me, Andy's you tell me doing you kill someone with a piece of gum. I'll be impressed. For all of you that can't see us right now, Andy was doing the motion of how it happened with his hand, not, not explaining it. <laughs> Shove the nose. In. I don't think he grasped the concept of a podcast yet. We'll get him there one <laughs> someday. day. Someday. <laughs> And Wonder. he's naturally colorblind. And I blame our listeners not for not watching us on YouTube. What? <laughs> what? Screw you guys. One day his brain. Whoa. 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 He, One, didn't, Andy. he didn't mean it. Come back. Come back. <laughs> I still love you. <laughs> All right. Uh, into May, towards the end, we get the next Disney live action, which is Aladdin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Boom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know how to feel about this. Um, I was mad because I saw Genie, and he wasn't blue. But I guess that, that that's not him all the time. Apparently, he has that's supposed to be, to be him human. during the Prince Ali song. Yeah, he's so faking. Him. I don't know. I mean, I'll probably see it when it comes to Netflix. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go to the theater. Or Disney Plus. Yeah, I'm not going to go to the theater to see this. No, no, um, no. I love the original Aladdin. I mean, again, childhood, awesome. I just don't know if I want a live action because it kind of already was live. I mean, it's like you're making people be people like kind of like you and the beast. I was like, okay, fine. The beast is not people, but he really just, is. So. I'm, I'm very on the fence on how Will Smith is going to come close to you can't. Robin Williams. There's no way he can't be Robin like, Williams. If he tries to be, he'll fail. It's true. He's going to have to do it his own way. Right. So it's going to be like, like uh, Sultans just don't understand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You want to see how I got in this lamp? Whoa. Get Whoa. With it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what was that? It's like the Heath Ledger following up Jack. So why is this, this going to be him doing his emergency? Welcome to Agrabah. <laughs> uh, I, so, I, I had a joke lined up and I lost it because oh. of like, you were oh, I got this lamp. <laughs> like, oh, I got fucking, this. What's the shit? Shoved it right Speaking in of Heath Ledger, he died 11 years ago today. Well, now I, I hate you. Sad. Thanks, Debbie. Donner. I hate you. Fuck you. <laughs> Move on, please. All right. Six days after Aladdin's launch, we will go and see this just so he could rise up and burn Aladdin to the ground. God fucking Zilla. <laughs> I can't wait. I like how you like. You can't wait. <laughs> you let into what that, that like it was like, like a wrestling announcer. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> do king you wanna- of monsters. Because not only do we get Godzilla, we get Mothra, Rodan. Who else? Ghidorah. King Ghidorah. There yeah. he is. <laughs> Can't fucking wait. It's so good. Yo, I like the last Godzilla, the one with uh, Brian Cranston. Yeah, I did too, kick, actually. And kick ass. My only problem is that Godzilla looked like he needed to get on a treadmill. Yeah, he's a little chunky. <laughs> he's a chunk. It's all right. I mean, and also you got like maybe three minutes of actual footage of seeing all of Godzilla. Right. And yeah, so this one we get 
I kind of like the way they're presenting this one a little bit. Like they're saying, like you know, they're frozen titans and stuff like that that rise up, which is cool. Yeah. Like you, they kind of uh, explain it a little, not needed, but a little bit. I mean, um, Rodan comes out of a volcano, yeah, but that, and Mothra is like that's some kind of god worshipped by like weird midget fairy Asian people. I don't remember right. the original uh, Mothra <laughs> god, but I'm pretty sure that's it's a cult that worships Mothra. But yeah, no, this is basically like here's the humans giving you context. Now go watch giant kaiju right. kill each other. Mm-hmm. Right. And and this leads into King Kong versus Godzilla. <laughs> yes. It does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dude, Kong can't beat this Godzilla. Did you see Kong? Kong ain't shit. Kong tiny. King Kong, Kong ain't got shit on him. No Kong shit. Like Kong, Kong's the, <laughs> the, this they'll, is not, they'll it, rescale him for they can't. I don't watch. Watch. But I thought, continuity funk. I, I thought he was pretty big in Kong. He was pretty Island. big. But Godzilla is like he's really big. <laughs> he's really Kong's big, but there are like, still skyscrapers bigger you know, than him and you, everything. You know, so maybe the context one. just sounds like we're just describing dicks, right? <laughs> <laughs> My Kong is big. That Kong is big. Your Kong's not as big as my Godzilla. <laughs> yeah. Although I, I've had a, I always wondered this question: Is Godzilla a dinosaur or a dragon? Neither. Yeah, neither. neither. So neither. Like he's a giant no. lizard that's you know. Well, he's cool. he's a radiated he's an irradiated uh, Komodo dragon. That's the closest thing you could find. Okay. They never actually yeah. explained what Godzilla ever was before he became Godzilla. Okay, but all right. you know is he used to be some kind of regular lizard, and right. radiation made him Godzilla yeah. right, over time. Right. the The idea behind it was, you know, against nuclear energy. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um. I because I haven't seen the. Was it 2014 or 15? Whenever the the god the, the other Godzilla one came out, I don't remember how he's if they explain him at all in this. They don't do an origin in form this, in the no, universe. They, okay. He's just there, right? Okay. Re- really, the the last Godzilla movie, the 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 one with Brian Cranston, the, right? Yeah. It, it focuses more on like the two like the bug kaiju. I don't even know how to explain what they were. Yeah, I don't know I don't, what their names right, were. Yeah. But Godzilla sort of shows up as they, because that's how all the Godzilla movies, even the Japanese ones, that's how they roll. It's like everything's normal, and then some somebody mm-hmm. fucked up with science, and here's a gigantic evil kaiju, and then oh no, Godzilla, <laughs> he's here. Yeah. He's here. Is he here? To, I mean, that's, is he here to destroy us? No, he's here to fight us. Godzilla, friend of children. <laughs> yeah, like that. That's like after like the third or fourth Godzilla, because the first couple Godzilla is just like straight villain. Like, right. He's comes out of the water. Yeah. He like, comes in, just wrecks Tokyo and just fucking leaves. Tea guy, bags. Yep. Guy in a giant, guy in a giant suit and just, <laughs> just walking on, right, yeah. <laughs> walking on he models. Does. He drops his rubber nuts right on top of the city. <laughs> right, yeah. It's like, suck it, Tokyo. <laughs> so yes, I'm excited for that. And then just fire breeze all over everything <laughs> as it <laughs> comes. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping that the other kaiju aren't afterthoughts in this film. I, and I really want to see God. I mean, obviously, you're going to see Godzilla fight King Ghidorah, yeah, yes. who is from space, is not an Earth-bound kaiju. No. Yeah, uh, Mothra and Rodan are are from Earth. But um, I'm, ex- I, I'm excited, kind of purely for the one scene where you see Godzilla just like bah, up in the air, and, like you see the lightning just come shooting like straight up. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm sold. <laughs> The interviews have already said that the three heads of King Ghidorah all have different personalities, and like the middle head obviously is like the alpha, mm-hmm. but the other two are like different in some oh, way. I I'm, I'm, like, I'm yeah. kind of excited to. I don't know, man. I love a good giant just, monster movie. Yeah, I just want this to be like like a, a movie that I can just shut my brain off and just watch kaiju just fight each other and just be that, entertained. That's right. all I like, need out of this film. That's him's like, right. Yeah, don't make him more. Yeah. Sure, like and you hope, could, you can try to give me like ten or fifteen minutes of story. I'm not going to give a shit, right? Just, <laughs> and just don't try to bring like Pacific Rim into it. No, <laughs> like no, please not, don't. not the same universe. For yeah. the love of God, don't bring Mecha Godzilla. Right. Don't, don't, don't Mecha don't. Godzilla. Oh. Oh no no no! That ha- they have to set up for a third one where they have to put in a Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> Mecha Godzilla is awesome. And, and Kong, Kong versus Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla. They, they test yeah. Kong. It starts off with Kong Godzilla. versus Godzilla, and then Mecha Godzilla and the aliens who support him show up, and then they join forces to beat Mecha Godzilla. I'm, I'm gonna dig deep in Godzilla lore when I say I would rather fucking see Jet Jaguar in this <laughs> fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> And fucking, oh, I'd rather see old Utoda Man than fucking any of that shit. Wow. <laughs> Specium Ray! <laughs> All right. All right. Sorry. I'm going to roll us into June now, now that we're halfway there. <laughs> no, no, we're not. <laughs> Dark Phoenix. <laughs> Hold on. I need to go back. How many months do you think is in a year? 
June is the June is, June is the middle. Right, but if you never mind, I'm not going to explain. I'll, I'll explain. This semantics, later. fucker. It's semantics. I'm just going anyway, semantics on you. All right. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, let's just pass. Dark Phoenix can suck a fat one. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be bad. Yeah. It's not. I'm I'm shocked. I don't Disney know. somehow hasn't put that into their shit. Like you're not releasing these. I'm calling it right now. It's going to be worse than X3. Just saying. It's yeah, going to be it, worse than yes. X3. I don't know how they're yes, going to do it, and you're right. How is Disney going to let this... If they're getting the deal almost close to done, why would they allow this to continue if they're just going to reboot everything? Like It just would tank. Because it was all created in yeah. the contract signed right. before the acquisition. That, True. Yeah, they, have, they have to probably just stay with those contracts. Probably. It's just going to taint the rest of it if it comes out, you know, with their... If they come out with new X-Men, you know. They'll reboot. Yeah. The yeah Marvel they'll will reboot completely it. reboot. Like I said, I, I think we'll see Fantastic Four before we see X-Men. Hmm. Another one. Men in Black International. No, next. Is this, the, is this the one where Thor and Valkyrie fight side yeah. by side? Yeah. Okay. I actually kind of want to see it. Liam Neeson. He's in it. Yeah. So? Also, Netflix. I'll watch it. I'm just... <laughs> look, man. Men in Black. Men in Black was uh, was fun for like all 10 minutes. The then first they made one. sequels. Like well, the, the first, first one. one was good. Like, the first, first one's one. good. Yeah. yeah. The first one's fun. And it's a cla- and it'll always have a special place in all of our nerdy hearts. Right. Two is bad. But then they ruined it. They did. Two is bad. Two is bad. I, so now I, you're rebooting it with different people. Right. I still have not seen three. This is going to be worse than the Ghostbusters remake. The end. <laughs> is, is, is three the one where he loses his memory? Three's the one where they go back in time to save young K. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Josh Brolin. Yeah. I think it was Josh yeah. Brolin. It was. Two is the one where he's already flashed and... Yeah, anyway. Yeah, Rosario, <laughs> Rosario, Rosario, Rosario Dawson's some princess from a... Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Next is, um, I didn't even know about this one, starring Samuel <laughs> Jackson as the only character he should be playing as a reboot, Shaft. Shaft. This isn't the, this isn't the first Shaft reboot. No. That's what I'm saying. And Samuel the only Jackson person Shaft who should have one. been in a Shaft reboot. He, he, he was. He already won. He <laughs> He's doing it again. 20 years ago. <laughs> Next. Yeah, dude. This is a, God, this see, is that's a how reboot. Much I don't pay so it's, to the yeah, of a it's, reboot. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a reboot of a reboot. No, another they're, reboot? they're rebooting it. Uh, with someone playing Shaft's son, but do, he's in it to like do pass we, the torch. Do we need a reboot counter? He's, here? he's there. He's there Apparently. to pass the shaft. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> see what he did there. Child's Tim play. and his penis jokes. What you just go all about? You know, yeah, we're done with Shaft. <laughs> you didn't even make a transition. It was just child's, child's play. play. Here, here, I'm gonna make a dick joke, and then you're gonna follow with child's, child's play. play. <laughs> I'm calling fucking CPS on both your asses. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't even say, is this, this looks like it is a reboot as it well, is. because there's it, no it one, is. two, three, or it's just Child's we, Play. Yes. Aubrey Plaza, though. We posted this on our Instagram. We talked about this. No, you did that. Oh, we. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love when it. Shut I, down, you <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> My bad. Dude, I love Aubrey Plaza. I do, but th- I don't fucking give two shits about I've Chucky. never been yeah. a Child's Play fan. I mean, it's I like never the first one, but sure. Like, I like to watch them because they make my one friend very uncomfortable because his, oh, his mom put a doll, Chucky doll next to him as a child. Yes. <laughs> so yes. I like to see him you know, just watch to, these. Just to watch him like squirm a little bit. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm not frightened by a fucking doll. Like, I, I mean, if oh, you no. can't fight off a fucking like a six inch plastic doll, then you're a pussy. Right. No, it's just. I'll tell you, like, fucking get a bat and beat that shit's ass. A flame <laughs> Here's gets a kitchen done. knife. Yeah, fucking burn his ass. Like, <laughs> they did that already. Like, why are you afraid of Chucky? Why? First off, why did you buy a Chucky? Right. Didn't That's... you see Child's Play? <laughs> Next. Next. And if you didn't cry enough over some toys, they're bringing it back. Toy Story Four. Oh, yeah. I'll watch it. I don't. I'll care. watch it. I don't care. Yes. June twenty first. I mean, I'm gonna see it, but they're gonna find some way to kick my heart in the balls. They're going to again. Uh, like, yeah. My heart can't handle it. Yes. Yes, I will see this, and I, mean, I will probably burst into tears, uh, and I'm okay with yeah, it. Yeah, especially wait, after... Wait a minute. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Phil. No, wait a minute, though. In the third one, they already accepted their mortality, and then they'll eventually die and go to the dumpster fire. What the fuck do they have to learn in this one? Yeah, who knows? What, what is more important than learning that you're going to die someday? Right. Uh, dying someday, probably. <laughs> oh, shit. Tim, no. like, are, are you saying that Toy Story 4 will actually show us the demise of the Toy Story I, cast? No, I think that I... <laughs> after reading after reading interviews with with um, Tom Hanks and Tim and, and Tim Allen, my prediction is that Woody dies. What? There's a snake in the grave. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I, I mean, 
Woody or Woody or Buzz is probably going to die. How do you kill die. something that doesn't? You you destroy burn the it. Toy yeah. and fire <laughs> kills everything. It Andy, does, including toys. That's right. So I think Woody or Buzz is going to mm-hmm. die. My money's on Woody. Okay, I better prepare myself. Toy. Aids. Now I saw a trailer for this in the, when I went to see Dragon Ball Super <laughs> Brawly last week. <laughs> it was really good. Oh, yeah. Um but, but um, I saw a trailer for Toy Story Four, and there's like a spoon, a plastic spoon with like a fucking like pipe cleaner wrapped around, and he's like, "I'm not a toy." Yeah. So like, what's happening? Yeah, so like, some one of the, like like the young kid like makes this like out of a spoon, and like somehow it, it gains sentience because he made a toy. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect. That's. That's fucked up. Are you saying like if you made like a makeshift toy, it suddenly gains life, and then it's like some kind of like terrible alien resurrection clone version of itself? It's yes. Like, Kill me. Uh, yes. Kill what is me. That's why. That's why he's just like I'm not a toy, and it freaks out. Yes. <laughs> that's exactly so if, why. So if I put googly eyes on Sweeney's mom's vibrator, it becomes a toy. <laughs> that's fucked up. I don't. Well, it technically already is a toy. It is a toy yeah. to begin with. Oh God. God. <laughs> is that cheating? <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, Sweeney's mom. Next. <laughs> End of July. Spider-Man Far From Home, July 5th. I mean, Woo! this is going to be amazeballs. I love this. This is my favorite Spider-Man. Yes. So I, I read I read a very good like joke, I guess you call it a joke. Um, <laughs> uh, they, they were saying, I hope they stick with the home theme with the next Spider-Man. And after Far From Home, it'll be home alone. And it's just Spider-Man at the Avengers Tower by himself. <laughs> De- defeating, up defending off web. like invaders with crazy web like traps. traps. <laughs> I'm alright with that. I'm not alright with that. <laughs> you know how I feel about Home Alone. <laughs> oh no, Jake Gyllenhaal is Mysterio. Yes, we talked mm-hmm. about that for a minute, and he looks like a hero to begin with. I think this is no. That's because Mysterio likes to use his powers to make him look right. like a hero. Yeah, he's right, the right, one yeah. causing problems. Yeah, so it's all about illusions. I was gonna say, shit. I told you guys, I read, I I saw this like, oh, here's a leaked synopsis of the entire movie, and I read it, and I was like, there's no way this is gonna be accurate this early. And saw then I trailer. saw the trailer, and I was like, well, fuck, I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what really pissed me off is when you told me that you had read that, I just accidentally stumbled across it on Reddit myself, <laughs> and then I rewatched the trailer. And I was like, oh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> I haven't read oh, that this yet. Is happening, so I'm happy. Um, well. Well, let no, me tell you what's in it. No. Yeah, I was say, you, <laughs> you go post it on the wrestling forum of Reddit. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, you are the only one of the four of us that does not know the synopsis of this movie. <laughs> Good. Or the plot of this movie. Good. Let me tell you. So Spider-Man goes to Europe, right? And Happy Bangs Aunt May. And then Spider-Man fights Mysterio. And then eventually bangs MJ. <laughs> the end. The end. Bum, bum. Yay. Bum, bum, bum. Let's all go to yeah. court. So that comes out July 5th. Okay. Then so, Disney themselves will not even get close to another movie until July 19th. <laughs> oh, a whopping two weeks. Yep. The Lion King. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, another live action. Live action. Yeah. It's a circle of money. My, I'll Oof. see this one. I'll see it, but I, I, am, I don't know how I'm going to handle telling, seeing a live action Simba tell Mufasa to get up. Okay? It's going to hurt. <laughs> eh. Get yeah, your broke I'm ass not. up. I'm not gonna see it. <laughs> I, I mean, I love Jeremy Irons' his scar is perfect yes. to me. Is 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 James Earl Jones coming back for Mufasa? Uh, yeah, that's the yes. only that's the only person from the animated one coming back. Uh, you mean the kid from fucking uh, Home Improvement, John Taylor, John Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Thomas? Thomas. JTT is not going to come back to play an African child. <laughs> no. Um, no. How dare you? <laughs> God, uh, I think it's. Yeah, that's right. Chitty Y Edgia for is Scar in this one. I can never pronounce his name, and thank you for saying it. I You're appreciate welcome. that. I love that. That's one. Of, he's one of my favorite actors, dude. Uh, he was um, he was Mordo. Yes. And also, he was in Twelve Years a Slave, and he was the bad guy in Serenity. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you say his name? Chitty Y Edgia for. Chitty Y Edgia for. Yep. I learned something new today because I was call him Chi 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 G for, and and I'm pretty sure that was fucking wrong. Yeah. And every time my wife is like, "Who's that guy?" and I'm like, "Oh, I love that guy. His name's G- <laughs> just, just, just garble." It doesn't matter what your name is. Uh, I like I, this guy's an Academy Award winner. Right. It's amazing. Yeah. I, it I care about it. I, like, I care I about his body of work. And if he's gonna be Scar, then I fuck Jeremy Irons too. <laughs> Seth Rogen, he's in it. 
Who the fuck? Please tell me he's Pumbaa. He, he has to be Pumbaa. Pumbaa. He is yeah, guy. He has to be Pumbaa. Pumbaa. Uh, and then Billy Pumbaa. Eichner is Timon, I think. Yes. No, it needs to be James Franco. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it needs to be James Franco. Fucking, <laughs> they need to be Timon and Pumbaa. I think, Okuna, I'm a, <sighs> I think James Franco stopped doing movies. Oh, okay. Uh, after, no, he is not. <laughs> no, he's not. After um, fucking Disaster Artist, he can write his own ticket. At this yeah, point. he just doesn't has, hasn't really done anything mainstream. That. That. All right. Next. 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 Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Can't wait. Quentin Tarantino. Literally cannot wait. I haven't heard about this it is, one. It is Quentin Tarantino. Leonardo doing the DiCaprio. Family. Brad Pitt. Margot Robbie. Al Pacino. Dakota Fanning. James Marsden. And it says, uh, this is, Tarantino has recruited a killer cast to tell a story that revolves around an aspiring actor and his stunt double who attempt to establish their careers in Tinseltown in 1969, just as the Manson family murders are taking place. So, you know, typical family-friendly Tarantino stuff. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't I, fucking wait. Yeah, I can't wait. Huh, I have not even heard about that. Yeah. Yay, Tarantino. He's my fucking, like, hero. Like, I modeled half my fucking collegiate, like, film career after his work. He's 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 the father I always I, wanted. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know it was. Did you say it was coming out in July or early August? July twenty sixth. I didn't know it was coming out in July. I thought it would just do the the Christmas release that Tarantino's done the past like two or three movies. Nope, coming in early. Yeah, giggity. Yep, just one week yep. right after the Lion King. Last Tarantino film was Hateful Eight, right? Yeah. Yes. Neat. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think I think Hateful Eight and Django both came out on Christmas Day. That's they why, did. That's they were why, both Christmas yeah. releases. Yeah, that's why I assumed hate, that hate, that one hate. would be Christmas. <laughs> hate, hate. <laughs> Speaking of hate, let's start off August with the New Mutants. Oh, <laughs> let's not. Uh, let's not. Uh, let's not tell do, them. Let's not say pass. Yeah. Do you do you mean do you mean August? What August fifth on Hulu? <laughs> yeah. Right now it says August second for a theatrical release, but no. Again. Uh-huh. I have zero faith that that will actually hit they, theaters. They've already Netflix already turned it down. Like that's why it's go- they're trying to get Hulu to buy it. It's so bad. Yeah, dude, they make shit like Bird Box. <laughs> right. <laughs> like some of what Netflix makes is doo doo butter. Doo doo <laughs> butter. And if Netflix says no, you know that shit's trash. Right. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Ooh. Speaking of trash, there is literally nothing else in August. Uh, Artemis August, Fowl. August is usually a trash month. Artemis Fowl might be okay. Maybe if you're a fan. Yeah. Of the source material. Into September. Maybe. It Chapter Two. Mm. Fuck yeah! Can't wait. Mm-hmm. Cannot wait. I'm super excited. And the new and the fucking grown up version of the Losers Club is going to be awesome. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. This this might this might actually break the number. You know what fucked up part is the second part of it is probably going to break the numbers of the first part, but less cool shit happens in the second half. That's like, true. The coolest part of it we've already seen. Right. Like part two is like them all living their lives away from Derry. And then, like, it, like fuck the Mike, uh, the black kid from the butcher, the, the the slaughterhouse. Yeah. He stayed in Derry to, like, basically keep an eye out for it if it ever comes back. And he's the one who calls everyone's like, oh, you guys need to come back. Kids it's, are going missing again. It's right, back. It's 20, yeah. It's like 27 years later, and everyone's like, well, what are you talking about? And then, like, memories start rushing yeah. back because apparently, when you get older, you forget that you've killed a fucking demon shape shifting clown from hell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I actually plan on uh, rereading the book before part two comes out. Uh, do yourself a real good favor there, Tim, and just take the end part of part one with a grain of salt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. No. Mm. oh, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, right? I read it. Yeah. I, oh yeah. yeah, I don't want to ruin the book for anyone, but let's just say there's a lot of um. There's some stuff inter- they didn't put into the movie. Yeah, yeah. Thank God, you know, yeah. you, don't, you don't want to put like a prepubescent orgy in a book. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> defile them all. Sure. Jesus Christ. Speaking of defiling, uh, apparently Downton Abbey is getting a movie. Next, <laughs> <laughs> it's Game of Thrones without anything cool in it. Right. Nobody cares. <laughs> Boring of Thrones. Uh, shit. September sucks uh, unless you really are excited for the Angry Birds movie too. No, I saw the first Angry Birds movie on Netflix. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't feel it requires a sequel. I feel like they told the story. It was fulfilled after a one. It, it's a mobile game. I mean, it doesn't I, have a story. I didn't know. I didn't know Angry Birds was still a thing. <laughs> oh yes, it so, is. <laughs> apparently, here's another. I will believe it when I see it. They don't even have a release date. Only just sometime in October. 
Zombie Land 2. I don't believe that's coming out in 2019. No. I don't even no, think they've that, started filming. No, I mean, it, it, it has filmed. It, it really? They, they, yeah. they're, they're in production already? Yeah, they, they are probably in are. production. Huh. All right, maybe. All right. It's possible. It might be great. It yeah. might also ruin the first one. Right. I mean, you kind of had a perfect you know, equation for the first one, right? And you don't need to continue it. <laughs> I mean, we talked about the zombie like genre, right? How it's been kind of overplayed. And why ruin a really good opening act just to have a really shitty second? Money. Uh, yeah, I, I just looked on IMDb. Uh, it's filming. Expected October 11th. Hmm. All right, man. I'll we'll probably see. see it, but... I will see this oh, movie. Oh, I yeah. will. Yes. I mean, I... But I will also be highly critical of what right. I am watching. Right. It better be Does it have the funny, same cast? Or the new Emma Stone, yeah, Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, <clears throat> Abigail Breslin. Yeah, they're all coming back. Uh, apparently, um, Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd have, have signed on as well. I, I imagine it's probably just a, a goof scene. Yeah, you can't they, bring Bill they Murray back. Him. Bill got shot in the head. <laughs> Bill's dead. Bill's dead. Chest. We're talking about a zombie comedy movie. Yeah. <laughs> like, maybe he, maybe he comes back fair. as a zombie. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but he was shot in the head. In the chest. Yeah. No, <laughs> no he was shot in the chest. Stop, Stop, chest. Stop with this. Yeah, it was chest. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, it doesn't matter. I, I, I take my continuity very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not in the head. And if Bill fucking Murray, I know that's not his middle name, but if Bill fucking Murray is dead... <laughs> Remember because he that gets, he's dead. He gets shot in the chest and he's like taking the long time to die. Yeah. So he's still alive as a zombie, motherfucker. <laughs> <sighs> so this one I haven't even heard of. <laughs> We're moving on. We are Already. moving on. Because <laughs> Ang Lee, directed by Ang Lee. Okay. Hulk. Uh, Gemini Man, starring Will Smith, Mary Elizabeth, Mary Elizabeth Weinstead, and Clive Owen. And it says Will Smith stars in this sci-fi thriller with shades of Ryan Johnson's Looper that centers on an assassin looking to exit his career who faces his biggest obstacle, a younger clone of himself. So young Will Smith is so coming to get Fresh Will Prince. Smith. The Fresh, fresh Prince, Prince is going to try to kill fucking After Earth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'll watch that. Movie. Yeah, I mean... I'll wait and see a trailer. Yeah, and see how it looks. But like, I like the idea. I like of the it. premise. I'm Ang Ang Lee's a pretty good director, other than the Hulk movie. Yeah. I don't like that movie. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon was good. It was. Life of Pi <clears throat> was good. Life of Pi was excellent. That's uh, October fourth, and on the same day, Joker. No, <laughs> I actually forgot this movie was a thing. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Jesus. I- I don't want it to be a thing. No. I'm not going to go see this movie. I'm going to send DC a message with my wallet. I'm and I'm it. not. I'm tired of this shit. Seeing it. Yeah, I'll seeing probably it? end up seeing it. I'm seeing it because Fuck it's not of part of the DCEU. As long as you're not care. trying to shoehorn this one in. For, get rid of Leto. But do it in your own universe. So this is one of his origin stories. It's not the <clears throat> origin story. They've already said that. And Yeah, because doesn't it take place in like the 70s or the 80s? 80s. I gotta call you a hypocrite, Andy. I'm sorry, man. You said the exact opposite thing about the Batman movie. Like when you found out the Batman was not going to be in the DC universe, you're like, no, 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 I don't want nothing. I never said like, that. I said, yes, you did. I, I said the Batman I is in the it. DC universe. Which no, no, no. Everything I know I've read you said has that, said that, but it's not. The, the article I read says it's not, and you said it should be. But I've and never seen that article nor any we're other. We're not article. arguing about that. Okay. Focus, focus. But anyways, man, yes, Batman. If you're doing a Batman story with Ben Affleck, it should be in the DCEU because he already exists there. This Joker does not. So you're okay with a Joker movie being made about an origin story of the Joker that has nothing to do with the DC cinema? And you feel the exact opposite way about a Batman movie? Yes. Fuck you! (laughs) You you fucking hypocrite! (laughs) Can't see the difference between Batman and Joker? I don't know what to tell you. They're one and the same. No. They're literally you can't That's have like saying one without Superman the other. And Lex Luthor are one and the same. No, they're not. They you can't have a Superman movie unless Lex is somewhere in the background. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just bald man. I, kind of off in the I think it's a waste of time and effort to make a Joker film outside of the, a, a universe that you're never going to use them again. That's right. kind of like what's the point? Yeah, you're sitting here telling me that you're excited about it because you're like, get rid of Leto, get rid right. of Leto. But they're not getting no, rid I'm of Leto because they, they it's need not to get rid of Leto, movie. right? But, I'm fine with this. If you're coming to me and you're saying, that's like going to the comic book store and I'm picking up Batman every two weeks. I'm like, Batman, Batman, Batman. All of a sudden, here's the black label. 
this is a Batman story. It's not part of the continuity. It's not part of the story. It's just its own separate thing. And it's really fucking good. One might call it Elseworlds. Exactly. I just don't. It is allowed to be made. And I agree with that with comics. But in movies, I just, I don't know. I feel like, for me, it just feels like a waste. I actually agree with Sweeney. Big time. This is a fucking stupid endeavor. You can't make a good Batman movie, but you're going to go make a fucking Joker solo origin film, which has nothing to do with what you've been busting your ass for the last six, uh, ten, almost ten years. You can't make a but good Batman movie. They can't make a good Batman movie. They obviously can't because they haven't fucking even gone into production. They haven't gone into pre-production. They keep making scripts and then wiping yeah, their asses I, with I them. I think he's talking about in the oh, DCEU. He's, he's talking about like, this Warner has made. Not in, not in general, <laughs> not, just in the yeah. DCEU. You get out of the past. We're talking about now. We're talking about right now. And you don't need a fucking Jolo, Joker solo. This, this, you can't do a Joker solo film without doing a proper Batman and Is there going to be a Batman in it? Or why? You know, like, why... Why do we? Care? Oh, I have no doubt there will be a Batman at some point in it. Why? If it's, I'm just What's curious. the point? Because like, who's just gonna... like how there was a Batman in Titans, but it wasn't really. Man, the more we talk about this movie, the more I don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's cool. Next, yeah. yeah. Mm. Like, mm. not to get all ranty or anything, but like, you don't. Get... I already next. You can't next again. <laughs> I next. It. Now next, you, <laughs> you can't no, next. You can't next my next. next. <laughs> I'm gonna remake your remake. <laughs> You don't get to reboot my ass. <laughs> uh, apparently, we are getting an animated Adams Family movie. But what? It Actually, is with that cast, I'm all right with it. Starring Oscar Isaac, Charlie's Throne, yeah, Chloe Grace, Moretz, 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 yep, Moretz. Wednesday, fuck yeah, Finn Wolfhard. As who? Wait, is that a porn star name? No, he's no, one of the kids from Stranger Things. Things oh. things, <laughs> yes, it is a porn star name. I'm assuming he's going to be uh, Pugsley. He's, yeah, he's Pugsley. He can't be Pugsley. The kid's thinner than Mike. No, animated. Anyway, it's animated. It, these are voice oh. actors. <laughs> oh. oh. It all makes sense. However, this is <laughs> directed by the same people that did Sausage Party. Oh, boy. <laughs> I like that movie. Yeah, I, yeah. I have a, so, I, so I'm doubly in. I, don't <laughs> like, I like that movie, I, yeah, too. It was yeah, weird to be yeah. I mean, whatever. S- uh, sausage Party, to me, was like everything I love about a good Joe Rogan movie, yeah. but like with the most ridiculous like, bath salts yeah. and fucking wet, like it's, it, it, it's, food coming to life. Yeah, it's not a detriment, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> terrible stereotypes and foul humor and, and your hot dogs smoking joints. Like, yeah, it was a great fucking movie. I love Adam's so, Family, so I'll see it. Yeah. I love I do love the Raul Julia Adams Family and Adams Family Values. Animated though, it, it's a movie. Yeah, it is a movie. Hmm. They couldn't do a live I mean, with that cast, you could do a live action, except for maybe Finn Wolfhard. Well, like all of those actors could play I, their roles I, in I real life. I, I think it's uh the guy who did Samurai Jack too, right? Uh <laughs> Gendy Tartovsky. I think so. Let me check. I could be wrong. Uh I am wrong. <laughs> all right. All that weight for nothing. Well, oh, that, we'll do oh, a that soft. Five seconds. So on this one, we'll do a soft next, please. <laughs> next, and it is good that it is soft because you will need tissues and everything to dampen your eyes at the end of this. It is called Call me a bitch. <laughs> you are my friend, Tom Hanks as Fred Rogers. Yeah, I. You know what? I already watched uh, the actual documentary about Mister Rogers, and my wife and I bawled. That's why, like, I love Tom Hanks too. So Tom Hanks doing Fred Rogers doing the Mister Rogers story. That is October eighteenth. You know, in retrospect, Mister Rogers is like he's actually one of the most genuine, like, good human beings in the last like two hundred years. Yeah, like he just the guy was just a complete. Uh, how do I? He, okay, let's quash rumors. Uh, one, he wasn't a Marine. No. He was <laughs> he not an army. tattoos all over his arms. He, he was training for the seminary when he when TV like first came out. And he was saw all the, like, the children's program was like vapid idiot shit. And he was like, kids are smart and you should treat them that way. And oh, yeah, he was all, he was like <laughs> at the forefront of the civil rights movement. Like, yeah. yeah, no, I'm going to cry like a bitch at the end of this movie. <laughs> yeah, I'll see it for sure. Oh, Chuby, my neighbor. <laughs> And then we get into November with a untitled Terminator project. No. Terminator Genesis, while interesting in the concept, (laughs) you're fucking with time travel way too much at this point. Like Terminator 1 and T2 are the greatest sci-fi films of their time. T2 changed fucking special effects forever. 
Yes. Yeah. Uh, Arnold's back, and then Linda Hamilton's back Linda as Hamilton. Uh, Sarah Connor, but apparently there's no John Connor in this movie. You didn't say her name right. Sarah Connor. Sarah Thank you. Connor. You're welcome. Connor. <laughs> See, but Genesis had uh, had Daenerys Targaryen playing yeah. Sarah Connor, and they went back to go back to <laughs> stop. Like, I, I, to, I, I hate to say this, but Skynet is the shittiest AI that ever AI'd. Like, just, how do you fail your own redundancies on I, your own fucking time travel plans, dude? Yeah, I feel like to to do Terminator again, like, you just need to wipe everything away and just remake the first one if you still want to make Terminator a thing, because you've done, you've you've wiped away, like, you've done the movie that wiped away 3 and Salvation, and then you did the one, now this one's wiping away everything but 1 and 2. Like, fucking figure it out, please. <laughs> no, Gen- Genesis actually eliminates T2. Does it? Yeah, Gen- right, so does. Terminator, Terminator Genesis eliminates uh, T2 and T1. Yeah. It actually eliminates the first Terminator because the Terminator Genesis is fucking Kyle Reese coming back again for what is supposed to be T the first Terminator and shit being totally wrong. Right. And then it turns out that they sent a Terminator back to kill Sarah Connor as a child and they failed because the Resistance sent back another Terminator <laughs> who saved her and then raised and then her raised because her. The, ter- the Terminator killed her family. So no Kyle yeah. Reese bang session that makes John Connor. And then he, she, <laughs> Kyle Reese shows up and she's already like in on it. She knows everything. She's like been trained since childhood. It, Genesis just fucks the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. They had to come up. They had to come up with some excuse to make Arnold Schwarzenegger a main character, but then also explain how he is aged. <laughs> oh, spoiler alerts, bro. Arnold Schwarzenegger becomes a T-1000 at the end of that movie, too. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I haven't also, watched The Terminator since T2. Also again, so. also, again, spoiler warning, like, John Connor comes back from the future, and he's a fucking Terminator. Skynet made him into a fusing nanotechnology, converts John Connor into a T. Who the fuck and cares like, what his designation number and like is? Also, T. John. Yeah, and also what, like, tilted me the most about this movie is they fucking spoiled it in a fucking commercial. Yeah, dude, in, that would have been a trailer. huge fucking reveal if I had never known, but I knew going in that John Connor was the villain. Because they fucking showed it in the trailer. Are so what do they do this side? Kidding me? <laughs> so what do they do? They decide not to fuck. That's how they get rid of John. <laughs> yeah. Like, nope. <laughs> This is this is all just hurting my oh, head. Oh, Genesis is just like oh, fuck. So me. if they're making another Terminator film and it's not a complete reboot of the franchise and they're going to continue with the Genesis universe like the, that timeline, no, I'm done. I no, I think <laughs> done I with think, Terminator. No, I think this one is like it it why it's they do what was the third one? Rise of the Machines or some bullshit, whatever the fuck. Yeah, the third one's Rise of the Machines and it's really bad. Yeah. It's got a What's her name? Claire Danes in it. Yeah. As far as I know, I think this one just takes place after like X amount of years after T2. So three doesn't happen. Salvation doesn't happen. Genesis doesn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> right. So they're following the T, the, the original one and two timeline. Oh, Yo, God. You're already fucking playing with fire by <laughs> right. using time travel. That's what I'm just saying. Just paradox stop. yourself in your own scripts. Yeah. Yeah. You're done. You yeah. fucked up. They're just stuck in a it. loop in their own. You're not just trying to stop it. They're just stuck. That's what I'm saying. Like if you Shut want to down. make Terminator a thing, just start it over. Reboot. I, and I love the term, man, I love the fucking music, the fucking premise. Terminators one and two are mm-hmm. great oh, movies. Them. Absolutely. Shit, even Salvation had some good moments in it. Just, Three just is a fucking donkey fire. Remake it with Cal Drogo, it'd be fine. I don't. Yeah, I don't remember any of Salvation other than Christian Bale's in it for like 20 minutes as John Connor. Yeah. I would say Batista, but he's getting old too. Yeah. Because uh, I want to put Batista yeah. in everything after uh, <laughs> Batista, Batista just turned the big five out. So he doesn't Ugh, look yeah. it. No. He doesn't look it at all. Mm. Make John Cena the new Terminator. I was just gonna say yeah. John Cena. Actually, John Cena. Uh, if, if John Cena is the new Terminator, my mind would just explode. <laughs> because like every fucking time he's on the screen, I'm just gonna hear da, da, da. And then he'll be like <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna hear John Cena sucks. Like, That's what he's gonna do. He's gonna grab fucking Kyle Reese by the throat, like you can't see me. <laughs> he'll look at Batista as Justice. the villain, so he'll be like, "You can't see me," and he'll just be standing real still. You can't see me. <laughs> can't see me. <laughs> All right, <laughs> next. <laughs> so we're still in what November? God, are God, we? Andy. These next two are just just give me a yes or no. Kingsman three. 
No. No. I didn't even see the second. It's a it's a prequel. The second one's good. We don't need a third one that's a prequel. Next. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog. Fuck you next. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no. Double no, no. fuck you. Next. No, no. No. Frozen 2. <sighs> no. Okay, why? Can no. Didn't even see the first one. <laughs> that movie blow. Now we're into December. That movie blow. Wrapping this year up. <laughs> Jumanji 2 with the uh, uh Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, uh, yeah let's Kevin Hart. <laughs> Danny DeVito. This oh. is technically Jumanji 3. Yeah. I just want to throw that out there because yeah. apparently the this Jumanji was a direct sequel to the last Jumanji. Yeah, Alan they, Parrish, they found, dude, they were in they there. Found his, uh, his they found Alan Parrish's... Yeah. 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 And they found the board in the beach where it ends in the end of the first yeah. Jumanji movie. So yep. yeah, this, this is Jumanji 3. You guys can't count. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, see it. I'll see it. I, I, uh, I, I thought the first... This, this, so the second one, I guess, yeah, was hysterical. Like, it was great. I it really was enjoyed. Funny. I really enjoyed the second one. I loved The Rock and Kevin Hart being together. It was just, it was funny, amazing. They did a good job. I really enjoyed it. All right, that, nice. Next, <laughs> Masters of the Universe. Yes, as, as long as Dolph Lundgren makes I, another appearance, <laughs> I'm going to say no, only because I don't think that's coming out in December. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't count on it because it says starring NA. <laughs> Skeletor. Skeletor has not been cast. He's, he's a rising star. Wow. They're that, just that like, not that, available. We're not even going to tell you because it ain't happening. <laughs> right. I, I, th- I feel like Master of the Universe has potential to be a really great franchise if handled correctly. But that's a big fucking if. That's, right. That's like a that's a gargantuan if. That's a Godzilla does, sized if. Does that mean we're getting like Thundercats next? I would watch the shit out of a live action Thundercats movie. But right. It was updated like, and handled are they just gonna start remaking you know cartoons from the seventies? Yes. Yeah, I'd watch, was the, I would that watch. That was the eighties. You fuck. That was the eighties. You fucking millennial. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> How dare you? She's like back then in the eighties. Back in the shit. Are they going to make more stuff from the 70s? Yeah, it was called fucking Wacky Races. Like, <laughs> 70s. Um, Wonder Woman. 1950. That's four. That's, 20, that's 2020. 2020. They put the picture on here. <laughs> as, uh, and this is uh, Rotten Tomatoes. So as, a big as old, we've already said before, pay no attention to Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, that is big old 2020, big guy. Yeah, that's going to be 2020. And then yay, wrapping up we're December, with- episode nine. Star Wars, nothing, nothing but, but Star Wars. Wars. Yes. I loved Episode Eight. Yes. Fuck the hater. I liked it too. Um, I have a, I have a prediction. You do? I think that uh, not in the movie. I think uh, when when we'll see footage. I think we'll get the title of it uh, probably in like early March, and I'm going to predict the first teaser trailer in front of Endgame. Possibly, and they we'll have see. they have dropped the 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 one hint at the title. That it the it was said in episode eight. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so comb that script, motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Is it is it the the she's the the book <laughs> the <laughs> sacred text? <laughs> <laughs> the book, the War- sacred text. <laughs> Star Wars episode Star Wars nine, not the book. <laughs> Star Wars episode nine, the books. How do I quote a porg? What's that noise they make? <laughs> Star, Wars, Star Wars episode nine. <laughs> no, that's just episode nine, porg noise. Porg noise. Porg noise. Episode, episode nine. <laughs> I'm excited for it. It's Star I mean, Wars. It's canon. I'm going. <laughs> it's Star Wars. It's canon. The problem is, this is the end of it's the next trilogy, canon. which means... Hey, there is Star Wars shit out there that is not canon or what I deem will not be canon. <laughs> Just because you say it's not doesn't mean it's not. Amen. All right. Well, I mean, I'm excited, but this is also means the end of the trilogy, which means we're going to be stuck with a bunch of solos and Rogue Ones for the rest of our lives. No, we'll, we'll no we'll more trilogies. The Double Ds are doing a trilogy. The Double Ds... Is it old Republic? Ryan it Johnson, Republic. apparently, everyone is, loved The Last Jedi so much that he's getting his own trilogy. I can't <laughs> There's wait a lot of people argue with out. you about that. But, oh, I can't wait till they come out. Uh, I, you know what? I'm excited. I want, uh, you know what? Fuck it. More Star Wars. But as long as it's not Solo or Rogue right. One. Right. Yeah. So I think the Double D's, we talked about this before, they're doing their own. And it's going to be set like without any. 10,000 years before. Yeah. So it's right. not going to be any of the current characters that we know. Did you say 10,000 years? Yes. Mm-hmm. Birth of the Jedi. Right. So it's going to be They're like... doing Birth of the Jedi. That is correct. Maybe. I don't know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was 10,000 10, years. I mean, that's that's older than the old Republic. Right. Yeah. So it's going to be like origination of the, the religions. I mean, I mean, also, don't don't forget to... Uh, I think 
uh, probably in the in the fall when Disney Plus starts, we'll get the Mandalorian. Yeah, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. I'm actually excited about for mm-hmm. a show. And the yeah. the guy the guy playing the, the Mandalorian will be cool. I, that, I mean, granted, and it's not Boba Fett, which means he's going to actually do something. Right, it's going to be an actual Mandalorian. Yeah, like a good one that yeah. actually doesn't fall into a giant toothy vagina in the desert. And, <laughs> and when then he has everyone a like that, everyone builds a fucking shrine to him because he's the fucking rocketeer. Anyway, um, so is that all the movies for 2019? That's it. Thank Christ, that, we that care was about. a long fucking list, Andy. <laughs> Holy God! All right, uh, all right. So let's get away from movies for a little bit. Uh, video games. Who wants to talk about video games? Me. I'm gonna talk about video games <laughs> right here. Tim, Tim, not your time. All right, right here. All right. In one month, February 22nd, Anthem comes out. Very excited for this. Hopefully, a Destiny killer. But um, it's it's literally straight up like uh, Starship Troopers or Exo Squad, uh, EA and Bioware. Uh, right, EA has made mistakes, but Bioware's done, <laughs> Bioware's done good work, and EA has apparently been reined in for this. So, keeping our fingers crossed, this turns out to be a pretty amazing mm-hmm. game. It yeah. looks awesome. This, um, this yeah. weekend is the open is the VIP be- uh, uh, demo, which I am in. Oh, nice! So I will let you guys know how titty sprinkles. Oh, my favorite part about this, other than the fact that it's everyone wearing giant awesome mech suits, and you can fly around like fucking Iron Man. Uh, Four man content from beginning to end game. And that means like dungeons, raids, all end game content. You never need more than four people. Perfect. I uh, I watched them. Uh, Bioware did like a 20, 25 minute demo. Um, IGN played it live, and I watched it. Uh, I watched it, and uh, it's definitely a game. I think it's right up your guys' alley with Destiny and stuff like that. And I was gonna say, I think it, it doesn't have to be a Destiny killer because Destiny already killed themselves. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, Bungie and uh, Activision have split due to right. Activision uh, being guilty of fraud. Apparently, yeah. Yep. So, and and Bungie got to retain the rights to Destiny. So, right. it's possible Destiny Three could be good. It also could be a gigantic steaming pile of shit, like it has been for the last year and a half. Yes. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said it. Yeah, I'm excited for Anthem. I, I um, I, just for the sheer fact that you get to fly around like Iron Man. I mean, right. I mean, that's it. Yeah. The that's classes all. look amazing. You got Hulkbuster. Yeah. You, got, mm-hmm. you got regular Iron Man. You got Hulkbuster Iron Man. You got super fast. I'm on the Formula One Raceway Iron Man. And then you've got like, I can do all kinds of magic shit. Iron yeah, Man, like the Doctor Strange really, Iron Man. Yeah, yeah that one. I'm sure. sure, I'm, sure you got, I'm sure you got a war machine thrown in there somewhere. <laughs> it's a third person looter shooter with an awesome story and amaze balls graphics yeah. and the ability to fly. It, 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 this game sells itself. Oh, no, the only microtransactions that will exist for Anthem are all cosmetic. You can loot, make your suits look however you want. You can pay for that. But you never can buy an advantage like EA did with fucking Battlefront 2. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big mistake. That won't be taking place. They're all DLC free, like Overwatch for Blizzard. Mm-hmm. So you never have to pay for the new DLC. There'll be no gated content. You won't be separated from your friends because they didn't feel like buying the new DLC content. All that shit is coming to you free. Anthem has a lot of potential to be a really great game. And from what I've seen of videos... It's gonna be. It is. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> um, the game I'm excited about the most is, comes out next week, and that's Kingdom Hearts three. Finally, it's 13 years in the making. <laughs> Thank Finally. you, fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the thing about I, I guess it, the one negative it took 13 years, but right. the second, I guess the positive from that would be the fact that you actually get to have 13 years of content. This was yeah, this was originally supposed to be on the PS3, and <laughs> it's then they're like, oh, upgrade, <laughs> upgrade. We can um, do more. To the PS4. So uh-huh. I am I I am to a point where uh, I'm going so dark on it that I only know three worlds. I haven't even looked at the worlds. Um, so I haven't looked at all the worlds. I only know the three. Um, I uh, I threatened people at work who were who were trying to spoil the worlds, and I was like, I need y'all to shut the fuck up, or I'll hit you. Uh, yeah, or <laughs> or in my words, I will burn this motherfucker to the ground. <laughs> oh, you didn't say I'll show you my dick. No, I didn't actually. I it was already I, out. I, I, yeah, <laughs> I threatened fire instead of penis. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, I uh, I'm very excited. Uh, even there's one world in particular out of the three that I know that I'm very very excited about. My wife's a big Disney fan, and I tried to explain this game to her, and even she couldn't get it on board. And I love the Kingdom Hearts series, I do. Mm-hmm. but once again. This game has been in development hell for the better part of a decade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was saying, I mean, it's, it's 13 thir- years. 13 years between two and three. This is either going to be um, the most amazing shit you've ever seen, or it's going to be a jumbled pile of dog shit of like of literally them rushing it out because people were sick of waiting. Nah. I don't think so. I think, I think they did it right. And hopefully, coin toss. As long as, it's not, as, long as it's not recoded. 
fucking recoded is or not recoded. I'm sorry. Uh, shit. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you're talking about all the, like the Game Boy Advance shit. Yeah, there's one where the, the battle system is, <laughs> is card based, and I'm just like, get this the fuck away from me. <laughs> no, no, it is, I'm, uh, the game's dog I'll, shit. I'll be buying this game no matter what, but whether or not it's good, Joe uh, jury's out. Yeah, right. And okay, so and then there's I mean, there's, we can talk about a couple games that well, one at least that came out that I'm kind of excited for, but again, it's it's just a remake of what we've already had in the past. So you have Mortal Kombat 11, um, and and it's injustice, but Mortal Kombat essentially. So it is. It <laughs> did is, you just wait? Did you just use a game based off of Mortal Kombat? Right. To say that it's a it reboot. Well, so reboot. the reason the reason I say that is because you, you know how in injustice you can customize like your moves, your armor, the way you look, stuff like that. You can do the sure. same thing with Mortal Kombat now. So a lot of the characters have like upgrades or customizable parts of themselves. So they kind of carry that over into it as well. Um, so can I make a, my own customizable Mortal Kombat character? No, it's just it's just like Injustice, like where it's based. Like you could get Baraka and get him like different looking blades, right. different outfits or different. But I, but I can't make my own Mortal Kombat person who just no. whose only move is doing the splits and punching you in the dick. <laughs> no. And like every single button I hit does just splits and pump dick punch. Right. And and the reason I, I do like this one I is essentially the same reason why we like Quentin Tarantino. It's just for the gore. And <laughs> and, and it is. It's like if I watched some of the gameplay and they brought back the X ray ability kind of. But it's not. But it's sure. not. It's yeah. not like a special move. It's, it's more just, blood. It's more like blood and like it happens like on different things and the, the fatalities are ridiculous. Like <laughs> that's also not why I like Tarantino. I, I like know, Tarantino because I mean, of his reference brilliant to, to him. dialogue that he writes. Um, the fatalities are all new, and some of them are like Baraka eats someone's brain. Yeah, like it's ridiculous. After doing the face, yeah. Off. Oh, you saw that too when they said yeah. they combined it with Nick Cage. I want to take his face off, and Baraka pulls the guy's face off. So yeah, I mean, I, I've always liked Mortal Kombat. Again, it's from my childhood, so I've always played Mortal Kombat. And I like the gameplay. The only thing I'm a little iffy on is the character list is very small in the beginning. It's like six characters. Right, but I think they they said they're they're announcing they're gonna more. they're gonna yeah. add more for free as, <laughs> as they go. But like that, the starting set is only like the six. No, I mean I'm, I mean it's all right because they and, just did the full on like reveal right. gameplay and all that just last week. Right. So and then Ronda Rousey, Sonya Blade, which I think is kind of funny. I mean, but good for her. Hot. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's and then good. You have, you have your ninjas. You have Scorpion, Sub Zero. You have Raiden, obviously. Uh, Baraka. Um, you have. Um, oh shoot! What's her name? There's a couple characters. I, I'm not Melina. Really good on the no, Mortal no. They don't have Melina. They have a. They have a. Oh shit! They brought her back from like Mortal Kombat three. I was gonna say like I'm not great on the on the Mortal Kombat lore, and there were a couple people that I did not recognize. Yeah. Is it, it Sindel? No, it's a blood assassin. Yeah, she, I forget her name. She used blood to turn it into like a big scythe. Yeah. She can essentially control blood a little bit. It's kind of okay. like her one of her abilities. And then the time travel, or not time travel, a shape like he like, can control the earth, but like use it to like teleport through um, Gerald, I think his name is, or something like that. But yeah, they, they brought a new character in. So I just like the way it looks. It looks fun. It looks like, and I liked Injustice and Injustice 2. Right, so I mean, I'm kind of excited for it. Yeah, I mean, Mortal Kombat's a classic. Yeah, it, it, it invented violence in video games as we know it. Mm -hmm. But but I mean, it's it's not a very I, I, from a fighting game perspective, it's not the deepest system. No, it's not. So I mean, I'm not terribly psyched about it unless it really brings its A game. But I feel like Mortal Kombat 11 is just going to be a reskin of 10. It's and with just different, but yeah, I mean, they're all kind of reskins of themselves. I mean, it's. <laughs> It's like EA Sports, right? Every sports game is just the new year with new people. It's the same thing. Why? But people still buy it, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I like it. I like the way it looks. I, I think it'd be fun for like a friend, like, you know, party to like, you know, beat up on your friends for a while. I'm sure it'll happen. Yeah. What about you, Andy? What else is you have the... any games coming out that you like? No, I was pretty much just relying on you guys for games this year. <laughs> I have. I've, I've been kind of not. I've never played Kingdom Hearts. I've just. I'm not. I'm not into the whole gaming lately. You've been playing um, Beat Saber? How sad for you. Beat Saber's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Days Gone is coming out. Looks pretty cool. Kind of like a, I don't know, after after Apocalypse motorcyclist. Right, I saw, yeah, right. I saw that. And like I was, Sons it, of Anarchy meets uh, 
Walking, Walking Dead. Walking Dead. It does look interesting, and I like the premise of it. it, it but I think it's just going to be one of those things where I'm going to wait and see on how reviews are for it. Um, what's this I hear about a <clears throat> Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order? All they've said is that, oh, hey, this is a game. <laughs> That's literally like at, at the Game Awards uh, last month or two months ago. They just said, oh, this is a thing. No footage, no release day, nothing. It's just, yeah. Well, great. <laughs> yeah, that, is, that was literally all that was said. It's like, oh, yeah, this is a thing. We'll, ha- we'll have Jedi and they, they've fallen. I mean, they've announced the next uh, Elder Scrolls, but that's going to be PS5. I can almost guarantee that. Which one's that? Which is the Elder Scrolls? Uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Um, like Elderware or something no, like that? No, it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why Elder I, Scrolls Elderware? No, I'm drawing a blank on the on the last. Well, I game. thought there was Elder Scrolls Elsewhere or something like that. No, because the next one's Morrowind, uh, and everyone's probably just going like, "Why can't you assholes think of this?" Um, <laughs> I played a little of the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. online. If I wanted that, Skyrim. I'd play Skyrim. Thank you. It's fucking Skyrim. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. So I thought. I thought. Elder World was like El- Elwyn or Elwyr. Or, no, I don't know, no something. it's technically it's Elder, Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, there is one game that's coming out that's making me actually consider buying a Nintendo Switch, and I'm debating it intensely. But Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about three. that. Three. Yeah. I, w- I think I, I, if I was going to buy a Switch, I would have bought it for Super Smash Brothers. Like, I, I, that would have been it. Um, it. Super Smash Brothers is a very good movie. Or very good, good movie. Game. <laughs> game. Sorry. Uh, I plan on buying a Switch with my income tax. Yeah. Year. That's my like, big splurge. That would have been the game that would have made me buy it. I still didn't do it. Um, but I. Good news for Nintendo. That was the highest selling system last year. So, well, that's because they're super late to the fucking game. Right. Everyone already owns a PS4. Everyone and already Xbox. owns one of the others. There's no other system to own. Right. It's like, now I have a reason to own a Switch. That's why everyone bought it. We're gonna buy right. a second PlayStation. Yeah, I guess PS4 is close to 100 million units. Yeah, sold. I think it's over it. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a terrible statistic. We were the best selling system last right. year. Was like, bitch, you were the only one nobody had. <laughs> right. And you gave us a reason because you finally came out with a game that nobody that actually didn't suck. And it didn't <laughs> and it came out at the end of the year. Right. Like the very end of the year. Like December, <laughs> what, December 14th? Yeah. All your kids were like, I guess I'll get it for Christmas. I don't know. Nothing else I really want. Yeah. The biggest yeah. selling point I saw was oh, you can play games. With your tablet onto your TV, or just walk away with the tablet and keep playing your game. I'm like, mm-hmm. cool. I have a cell phone. Thanks. Uh, my thing, next. My big thing is that my work is so lax on what we do. Is that I can play it at work. <laughs> uh, if <laughs> Tim's boss is listening, you just heard what his, his productivity um, is going to be going low. For, uh, no, for low. the record, when we were slowed in the Christmas, the Christmas break, I uh, I plugged a friend switch into one of our conference room. Um, the conference rooms and just played it. <laughs> and he walked in and I was like, it's Christmas. Like, I don't care. A uh, buddy of my work uh, brings his switch in every once in a while. And he let me play for a little bit. And it's weird. Like, I, I, can't, I yeah. can't get over the control system. I can't. The tiny little screen. And I mean, I, I, I love gaming, but when I'm out of the house and like doing shit for like my job and like my life, I don't have time to be like, oh, hold on a minute. Whip out my Switch. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> I already get yelled at enough if I check my fucking text messages during dinner. Like, be off your phone. You need to be here now. <laughs> like, if I whip out a, can you imagine me whipping out a Nintendo Switch? Like, like it's somebody's fucking funeral or something. Like, oh, this is really sad. Beep, 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 Nintendo Switch is a system for children and for people that have no social responsibilities. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, at least 50% of this fucking party. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> That's our demographic. <laughs> right. Uh, spot on. Anything well, else coming out in 2019? Like, I don't know, comic-wise or... The comics are a different bag yeah, when it yeah, comes to movies and games. Like comics, you never really know what is around the corner, but then sometimes they're like, "Oh, this event." I know that Doomsday Clock will be coming to an end soon. Yeah, <laughs> soon. I think it's Finally. I think it's June. Well, I, and I also heard like the 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 first episode after um the last comic of with the, with Thanos is coming out. Like I, I don't know if I'm gonna spoil this, but like if, Thanos dies in the last comic, yeah. so the Infinity the, Warps is over. Yeah, so yeah. the next comic after that is actually Oh yeah, uh War of the Realms. Yeah. Uh 
Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I think it's it's fine. The build up's been fine, but it doesn't need to be the biggest Marvel crossover they've ever done again. Right, and like big crossovers like that already annoy me anyway. So that, I mean, that's really all I'll say about that. Like it, 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 it can just be a Thor story, and that's it. It doesn't need to be what it what they're making it. Okay. Honestly, I think we really, I mean, like I said, 2019's got some cool shit down the line, but mm, we'll see. 2019, yeah. like I said, you know what I want for Christmas. Right. 2019 <laughs> yeah. is like the year of the movie. Yeah, like, of, of the Disney movie. The, the, yeah. the, this is the year of the fucking CG remake movie. Right. <laughs> but on that note, it's time for Hateful Grateful, Hateful Grateful, I think it's time to turn, do a dance. Hateful Grateful, it's my turn to do a dance. T- Timothy, um, t- Timothy, uh, Yes, it is my turn. It is my turn. Uh, The first thing that I wanted to bring up that we haven't really uh, discussed yet is uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse being up for Best Animated Feature of the Academy Awards and also Black Panther up for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. How do we feel about this? (laughs) It's cool they got a nomination. They won't win. No. Uh, Actually, Uh, I take that back. Uh, Into the Spider-Verse, I believe, will win Best Animation. I do. I I do believe Black Panther will not win Best Picture. (laughs) I believe yeah, that's I, I really loved Black Panther. Don't get me wrong, but best picture of the year that feels a little social justice warrior to me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it. I don't. It's a great movie, not best. There are there were a fuck ton of movies that are, are artistically superior, and the Oscars hasn't fucking been valid. Since no, who, who knows how long? Thirty years. I don't agree with half their fucking picks, and it's all most of the fucking picks, business. Yeah, most of the picks I see like that win best picture. I'm like, I what what movie is that? I don't understand. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big movie guy, so like, I I appreciate the Academy Awards. And, yeah, you know. I, it's not that I don't appreciate. I, I, oh, I went right. to fucking film school. I'm a big not, movie guy too, Tim. I'm not but I know that. that they're bullshit. It's all fucking money or who your friends are. The Oscars are are. It's rare that anyone who actually deserves an Oscar gets an Oscar. Now the Golden Globes. The Golden Globes have been a little bit more accurate as to what like people actually gave a shit about. Oscars you can take with a grain of salt. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm excited that they both got the nomination. I mean, good for them, good for Marvel to actually be considered, you know, and you know, actually have to come I think I think Black Panther has like seven nominations. I don't think it's that many. Um I know I know Infinity War is up for uh special effects, I think. Hmm. Is that because they all vanished to dust? Yes. <laughs> Dust in the wind. Say so Ready Player One is a special effects also. Yeah, I saw that too. Cool. Um, I like it. The next one, because uh, we were just talking about uh, fighting game, uh, they are doing a Power Rangers Battle for the Grid I fighting game. I did see that. I did see that. Uh, what system? Uh, I think it's PS4 and Xbox. Yeah. It's what kind of fighting game? Uh, that I haven't seen. It's, there's not much information other than like, uh, just like art, essentially. Yeah. But like, it's just the red and green rangers fighting. Yeah. So it's like it's versus, like a versus fighting game. Yeah. It's gonna be like. But, but but did it look like a two D like like Guilty Gear X fighting game? Did it look like an Injustice fighting? They didn't game? really have. They didn't anything really have that. that. It's yeah. just literally like like concept art of like two characters like just fighting. Yeah. No idea Can what we? style will be yet. Right. Great idea. Well, I need to see how it's gonna be executed. Right. right. And like, I, grateful. I just need to understand grateful. like you know. Who's going to be in it? How's it like? What, right. What's the, you know, what's the, yeah. How's it going to look? Yeah. I'm excited. I'll, I'll play yeah, a Power Rangers fighting game. Yeah. Hell yeah. I love Power Rangers. I'm fucking on board as long as they don't, <laughs> as long as it's not like some, As long as I can pull out Dragon Sword as like a super. That'd be great. It's not a fucking mobile phone game, right? I don't no, think so. No. No. All right. Um, All right. The last one that I uh, hey, kind of. Hey, Andy, wait, wait, wait. Oh. wait. Andy, you got nothing to say about Power Rangers? <laughs> <laughs> nothing at all. Nothing at all. I'll be nothing at all. Wow, okay. Andy <laughs> hating on them fucking rangers. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Um, That's the hill you want to die on. Huh? All right. <laughs> there it is. The, uh, the, la- <laughs> the last one uh, is, it kind of goes back to what we discussed, uh, I think, on our last Hateful Grateful about Netflix and their rising prices. Uh, they are predicting that 27% of subscribers are going to drop with this with this price hike. Yeah, I, <clears> I read that they're going to jack it up from, like, what, 10 99 to 12 I think it's 12 yeah, something like that. And they're losing like a lot. Uh, meanwhile, Hulu's dropping uh, from eight to six. Right. I, 
I'm not broke. I have all of these services. <laughs> yeah. I, I have fucking Netflix, Hulu, Game of Thrones, FX Now, right. Amazon I, Prime. Netflix keeps giving us their own I'm original good. content. A lot of it has been good. So as long as they keep providing stuff that I'm like, I'm willing to sit and watch it, I will pay for it. Right. As soon as it just but. starts becoming remakes of their own shit, then I'm out. Yeah, I mean, I guess they can charge more because people will pay it, right? But it's kind of the things like, why? Why do you need? Right. You don't need to do this. It, well, one, it, the, the extra funds helps them to improve the shows and also helps them to improve paying for their original content and keeping the actors well, that they, they probably value. Because they paid so much for friends. I can name four shows off the bat that make having a Netflix account at twelve ninety nine a month a perfectly viable option. Stranger Things, Ozarks, Maniac, and uh, uh, Castlevania. I can't wait for the third season. So yeah, uh, yeah like those, there are sh- you could pick, you could throw a fucking dart at Netflix. Well, There's at least one show yeah. that can that can warrant this height. And Punish, Punisher, the third season was her second season. I've only watched the first second, three. Second so season far. was amazing <laughs> yeah. as well. I've only watched the first three episodes. These are the so same far, people but. bitching about them raising raising a price that will pay fifteen ninety nine for just to get Game of Thrones. Yep. <laughs> for HBO and right. drop it. It's and like, drop shut it. the fuck up. Yeah. I keep HBO for a lot more reasons than Game of Thrones. The new third season of True Detective has been incredible. I've heard it's good. It's really good. It's not, it's not, I mean, the first season will always be king. But, <laughs> right, right. But this is really good so far. Like, it's way better than the second season. But no, like, I can understand why they would make this hike. $13.99 or $12.99 is not, uh, it's, not it's not putting anyone in the poorhouse. You're going to complain about this, but you won't complain about a wall being built. <laughs> <laughs> like, that fuck wall. all of right. you. <laughs> oh, so, so the 27. Were- Sorry, so you'll notice that twenty seven percent of people who are willing to drop Netflix over this price hike. That's also the number of people who support <laughs> a wall being built. Mm. Mm. But that is what mm. I have for hateful grateful. I well, know thank you. I Tim. know we're running a little long, so it's long in the tooth. This was a little long uh, episode, no, we but we've been away. Was- we've been away for a while. Yeah, it's been a it's been a crazy holiday season, but we're ramping back up and. Uh, we got. We're gonna have some more reviews and stuff coming for you. Obviously, this is a shit ton of movies. <laughs> shit ton of we just gave so, you our review season, <laughs> right? Pretty much. So, hateful geeks, thanks for thanks for tuning in again. I am one of your many hosts, Phil. And this is Sweeney. I'm Andy. And this is Tim. And we'll see you in 2020. <laughs> we're off when for our, our next year. episode. <laughs> when our next episode comes out, <laughs> we'll tell you what we're looking forward to next year. <laughs> That was wonderful. Bravo. I loved that. Oh, it was great. Well, it was pretty good. Well, it wasn't bad. Well, there were parts of it that weren't very good, it though. It could have been a lot better. I didn't really like it. It was pretty terrible. It was bad. It was awful. It was terrible. Get him away. Hey.